my lord with regard to item number 764 and 768 my lord the e rickshaw matters my lord the showrooms are lying closed my lord yes my lord if it does not reach tomorrow uh, today my lord kindly take the matter on monday at the top my lord let me see because these are all mentioned matters isn't it no my lord 764 and 768 it's running in the list for a substantial period of time my lord you are mentioning upon notice no ma'am i will serve notice my lord you have to mention upon notice Then, my lord, I will try my luck on Monday, my lord. Senior second lady, my lord, I am not getting compensation. Yes. I am not get, getting compensation, and my land was taken. You are mentioning upon notice. Yes. Please give the number. My lord, earlier I mentioned again. I mentioned for application. My lord. <laughs> Restoration application. Give the number. I am not mentioning on. Yes. Are mentioning on notice, my lord. To be mentioned on prosecution. Are mentioning on notice that the interim order is expiring on sixteenth of February, my lord. Upon notice. Upon notice, I'm mentioning. But may I be permitted to mention? Yesterday I was here before Lord Chief. I am praying for leave to move a matter on Monday, because my lord, Tuesday is the day fixed when my uh, shop room should be demolished without serving the order passed under ten three. Ah, uh, there were lord your lordship's order was there. They detected my lord two shop room. That's a, that are being used by me with my lord a tile shed. Those are unauthorized. Have you received a demolition notice or you no. asked to demolish? No, my lord. They came before came to my uh, shop room, the police authority, and they said remove all articles on twentieth sharp ten thirty. We'll demolish demolish it. Now after your lordship's order, they found two construction by my petitioner and seven person seven by the other person who was the respondent here. That's a pakka construction having everything that would not be touched. So that doesn't mean that your That's construction your will not be demolished. I am not on that, my lord. I am ready to demolish, but there should be equality. So please do that. Your lordship, yes, yes, I am giving undertaking, my lord. Can you take up my matter because I will show, despite your lordship's order, despite your lord, despite your lordship's order, despite your lordship's order, they are making this discrimination. Despite your lordship's order. Come up with a separate written. Yes, 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 and on that repetition, your lordship's direction was passed. Then the inquiry was proceeded. Report is there. Yes, seven constructions are unauthorized. Even then, my lord, my two that is being demolished. I'm I'm not standing on the. Separate things. That's a different issue altogether. Yes, that that direction was there. Kindly come back. There is no. Malad, malad, no, malad, malad, I kindly allow me to come back on Monday because Please, Tuesday is the day. Give the number. I'll consider. Uh, good. No urgency. No urgency. Good. May I have lawyers kindly? But lawyers have heard the matter. Uh, uh, lawyers may recall. But this is a matter where my land has been without any proceeding. My lord, taken. Malad, for last thirty years, Malad, I am now out of land without compensation. Malad, Shabtan Shubhashu is leading me. Our submission is completed. Malad, any day convenient. Are you mentioning upon notice? Yes, of course, yes, Malad. The hearing matter. Hearing matter. Malad, Lord Shub, our argument, Mr. Bashu was there, me was there. Malad, completed. Only Malad, the respondent has to argue. Malad, any day convenient, number, your Lord Shub, Malad. Give the number, let us see. Ah, Lord Shub, I am praying for leave to file this writ petition and to move today or Lord Shub Friday. I want to see Lord Shub. Lord Chief, the 31st January 24, this demolition notice has been issued by the Senior Division Engineer East South Eastern Railway in compliance of a public interest litigation as well your Lord Chief's direction. A public writ petition was moved before your Lord Chief. Your Lord Chief directed the Senior Division Engineer to comply the order of the Honourable Division. In terms of your Lord Chief's order, this order has been passed to. Lord Chief, the remove this alleged construction in the railway acquired land, though it is not a railway acquired land, it appears from the state government's report within a period of 15 days. 5th February, I got this order, and I have challenged this. Lord Chief, kindly take this matter on Friday. Otherwise, 15 days will com complete by two more. You have filed the matter. Lord Chief, the I am praying for leave to move this. File and give the number. I'll consider. Lord Chief, kindly Friday. Lord Chief, the orders of the court. Give the number. File and come back. Give the number. Now, if the day is not necessary. If the construction is demolished, Lord Chief, then he will get compensation. No, Lord Chief, but the, uh, uh, within a forty-eight hours, I cannot file, Lord Chief. Kindly give me a leave. To... There are two earlier orders. I do not find any urgency at all. Please file. Give the number. I'll consider. I, I will not grant. Friday at least, Lord Chief. I'm kindly leave the Friday. I will not grant leave to file. File. Give the number. I'll consider. My Lord. Yes. File. Yes. 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 Yes.
seven here give the give the number my lord apologies may i apologies ah this is order please order please i want to vision want to decide there and that demarcation had not been done give the number give the number my lord may i have a lordship can leave to mention item number 241 of today's list this matter my lord had twice the direction was there to file the report and exception already completed but this has been appear under the heading motion up on notice to the other side my lord my lord my lord let it be appear under the heading to be mentioned so that no, your lordship will mention my lord i will also mention my lord that argument that
স্টেট রেসপন্ডেন্স 
that no report has been submitted in this matter. Paragraph inadvertent error has crept into the order passed on 12 December 2023. Paragraph in the said order, the sentence inverted comma open code. Okay. Report submitted wait. on behalf of the respondents wait. is taken on record, inverted comma closed, be deleted. Paragraph, the department is directed to incorporate necessary correction accordingly. Paragraph, this order be treated as part of the order passed on 12th December 2023. Next. For the petitioner in this matter. What is the application about? Yes, Lordship, this is an application for restoration, Lordship, where the rate was dismissed for the non appearance of the previous advocate. Hmm. Now, Lordship, uh, what I can pray for is a leniency because, Lordship, the rate was disposed of by my Lordship's order only on 11 5 2022. <laughs> Now, in this regard, may I just hand over a judgment, Lordship? It's a very important observation of the Honorable Supreme Court, Lordship, if Lordship can have a look at this judgment. Because the situations are being similar, Lordship, where <laughs> second appeal was dismissed and subsequent to that, Lordship, a restoration application also dismissed, approached the Supreme Court. Now, what the Supreme Court has said, Lordship, the relevant paragraph? Yes, Lordship, in page 790. Yes. Uh, Lordship, at the uh, very last, uh, in the middle, therefore, we allow this. Uh, Lordship, from the very beginning, sorry. If we reject this appeal, as Mr. A.K. Sanghi invited us to do, the only one who would suffer would not be the lawyer who did not appear but the party whose interest he represented. The problem that agitates uh, us was, is whether... Was this restoration application filed within time or beyond time? Where is that sentence in the order? Lordship, uh, this restoration... Lordship, the courts are generally liberal with restoration applications, but you have filed this after two years. Lordship, it is more or less two years. Lordship, yes, I so know... Please show me one line in this judgment that it was filed far beyond time and still it was allowed. Lordship... Uh, there is no averment, Lordship, with regard to the filing. This is not applicable in this case. Uh, Lordship, there is no averment, Lordship. What I'm trying to uh, point out, Lordship, the second appeal and subsequent to that, the, uh, the restoration application also was dismissed. And this was for the want of the previous advocate not appearing, Lordship. Lordship also recorded. Have you sought condemnation of the delay? Uh, Lordship, uh, I have uh, uh, sought for the recall and the uh, restoration, Lordship, of the order, the Lordship. The delay that you have made? Uh, Two years almost? Lordship, I know, Lordship. I Come can... back with the required application, I'll consider. <laughs> this application is not applicable here, sir, this order. Nowhere is it said that it was filed beyond the stipulated period of time, isn't it? Lordship, this is a rate application, Lordship, which has been dismissed, Lordship. And uh, if I go... So you say that uh, there is no question of a delay? Uh, Lordship, Can we file after there is, there is There is a question of delay, Lordship. If Article 137, Lordship, if it ca can be seen, Lordship, of the Limitation Act, where no prescribed period has been mentioned for any application, the three years is the time within which you can sort for the, uh, for the uh, restoration. If not wrong, Lordship. If Article 137 is... It is very difficult for you file, to file an application for condemnation of delay? No, Lordship, I can file it, Lordship. Why don't you come back with your application? Lordship, then let this be kept pending, Lordship. I'll, it will, it will uh, pending. I'll pre uh, file a fresh application seeking the uh, condemnation. There should be. Other... Restoration, uh, in essence, for of the mere article, cannot, it will be allowed. No difficulty. Cannot consider this. But then since it's a... Uh, Lordship, it's a keep, this, keep this pending. I'll definitely file a separate application seeking uh, seeking the condonation because there is a merit in this on i am not on the restitution application at all i'll allow it Great. but there should be an application on Great record logic. seeking condonation of the delay right Grateful logic. on prayer of the applicant petitioner the matter is adjourned uh, when can you come back Lots of within a week i can come back uh, next. paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on uh, 
Twenty second February. Twenty second. But Lord Chief, one thing, if I may just surprise Lord Chief, as per Article one thirty seven, Lord Chief, three years is the time limit. This is what I want to just clarify, Lord Chief. Uh, Come back on the next day. Let's see. And I'll file the application, Lord Chief. If Lord Chief so desires, Lord Chief definitely. Missing on twenty second. Can it be on twenty third? Twenty third, very well. Twenty third, grateful Lord Chief. Twenty third. Next. But I pay for the writ petition or respondent, man. The applications filed by my learned friend for addition of parties. Alert, this is my application for addition of parties. Uh, the writ has been filed against the work order issued by the uh, Midnapur Kharagpur Development Authority, Milad. Uh, Milad, uh, the writ uh, uh, petitioner challenged the construction of... Yes. But I oppose this application. My Lord will kindly come to take up CAN 1 and kindly come to paragraphs 3 and 4. My Lord will kindly see his locus. But there is an addition of party, my Lord. There are two applications for addition of party. It is my application. There are two applications for addition Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. There is separate persons. Two separate uh, uh, read application and we have filed two applications adding as a separate party. Read application. But I, I think my learned, my Lord, there is... Let me explain. No. Two can actually act a read. No, no. Of course, can one, can two. One, three, three, six. Oh, no, there are two can applications in each of the writ petitions. One, yes. Can one and can two. Filed by some committees, my lord. This is can two. Give, give me a minute, please. Yes. Second one. I find can two, but where is can one? Can two tapas. <laughs> What are the prayers? <laughs> you know, the, for ad, addition of uh, parties as respondent. Yes. You know, the, there, there was a road. Why two applications? You know, the, another there is another party who oh, wanted yes. to add in this rate application. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first can application is one party. The second can application is two parties. So you want all the three of them want to be added? My love. Yes. Milad, please place your face. Milad, uh, there, uh, there is a road upon which the villagers of the locality used to uh, uh, well, uh, this for last 25 years, Millard. Millard, now they have rep uh, made representation before the uh, Midnapur Kharagpur Development Authority to make it concrete because this is the only road which connects Mahbub Nagar to NH6. And in case of the uh, poor people who needs the medical treatment in Midnapur uh, Medical College, this is the only road. Uh, Milad, this road has been used by the villagers for more than last 25 years. Milad, they have purchased the land uh, 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 in uh, uh, two years back. And this work order issued by uh, the Midnapur Harakur Development Authority in the year two, uh, 2020. And they have purchased the land in the year 2021. Milad, I have certain documents to show my, my lord that we, we were using this road since long, more than 25 years. There is government record showing there was a kacha road. And since uh, villages are uh, getting difficulty to going through the, that road, we made representation with the authority concerned to make it pakka. So that is why... Uh, uh, I just want to add as a party in this read application to bring the certain facts before my lord to proper adjudication of the read application. Uh, who is appearing for the uh, all the respondents are represented? You are. But I am appearing for the read petition, my lord. Uh, what about the respondents? 
my lord uh, I, i'm not sure my lord if my learned friend has served the others have you served all the respondents um, lord uh, i have to check the petitioner has been sir the state is there it's only the state i think my lord state no, my lord development it should be replaced yes. by someone a different uh, council my respondent number 3 my lord is the main party my lord the minnapur kharakpur development authority my lord. where is the sir what is appearing for well mr bondopadhyay was appearing for the authority sujoy bondopadhyay my lord who is vidisha gupta my she is the advocate on record for the petitioner as well she is my advocate petitioner. she is my advocate on record you have served only the petitioner you have not served the respondents only lord please serve uh, come back lord i i will serve and i come back can one of 2024 and can two of 2024 do they accept the quorum the applicants are directed to serve copy of the application upon the respondents and file oh. affidavit of service on the agenda date mara ka affidavit of service name on the paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on 5th march my lord but 4 and 5 same order same very <clears throat> great i'm great <clears throat> Four and five same order. Watch one. Watch thing. Sir, I have not received blood. Sir, I have not received blood. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Last slide to yes, sir. Yes, sir. One month absent, Colonel. Why has he refused? No, Lord Sir, we have not received any notice, Lord Sir. But he is saying uh, we can receive Lord Sir. Lord Sir, will adjourn for two uh, weeks. Adjourn for one month, Colonel. I will. I will request my lord to come here. We are already done. Yes, sir. 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 It is submitted on behalf of the alleged contemnor that the notice issued uh, that the petitioner has refused to receive. Well, they could the not produce that notice, notice at all. Notice that issued that upon him by the authority. <laughs> If there is a refusal, Mr. Day, on the next day. Please give an endorsement to that effect. I'll yes, I'll dispose it off. Yes, Lord Sir. And start fresh by Lord. Again, I start fresh by Lord. Learned Council submits that the petitioner shall be served fresh notice. Of hearing, paragraph Learned Council for the. applicant petitioner submits that the petitioner shall receive such notice in the event it is issued upon him paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on 20th march paragraph affidavit of compliance be submitted on the agenda date अपील That has been hard and fixed on nineteenth of February. Not Apple to your lordships against the lordship order, because your lordship order has been passed in the month of December. Recalling application filed eleventh of September, long after after filing the contempt petition and service of notice. Therefore, I shall take the plea. Other day, my lord, I already had taken the recalling application is not maintainable since matter has been. 
appeal is pending in respect of the mother judgment after the span of another eight years. Section oh. five has not been allowed. The mother judgment means the order under contempt, isn't it? No. Initial order passed my by my logic is bad. 2017. But, but order was not complied with. But I file a second read petition. Your Lordship taking into consideration of the earlier and taking into the latest Supreme Court decision, but your Lordship quoted that. Direction is given for but, giving compensation. That order is intact. Now contempt petition filed. But after the span of eight months or nine months. But recalling application has been filed in the plea that during the pendency of these proceedings, land has been in the home of the river. Position has been taken, award has been... Yet, that cannot be a ground at all. No, that is not the ground at all. Appeal is also but now, appeal has been preferred after eight years so, challenging. Appeal against which order? Against the order of Malaysia's bug. Not against this no. order. No. Kindly, kindly come to page 16 of the contract. Yes. My, my application will not... Blood. Your application should be hard. Recalling application can one block? Recalling is not maintainable. Your Lordship, I am placing your my, my Lord's order. Why is right. harm in placing that? Will I cannot understand. Uh, place, place, place it. So why is harm in that? Uh, page 16, 1 6, my Lord, of canopy. Yes. My Lord, my Lord, was, my Lord. My Lord, what happened, my Lord? In this order, your Lordship has quoted the earlier order. But we have challenged the earlier order in the repetition. petition. Uh, the, Mandamus appeal, my lord. Lord, uh, uh, the thing is, the lord, it has been fixed on 19th of February. Perhaps my learned friend also appear in that appeal also. Then I shall take care of. Five has been allowed. No, no, my lord, it has not been allowed. But uh, on that day, I, uh, I heard it's lord. Pending or it has, it has appeal been is allowed. pending, my lord. Appeal is pending. The section five is pending or it's been. Section allowed. five is pending, my lord. Let there be an adjournment. Come back. Let's see. Malur, I am suffering since 2010. 19 February is the next date. Malur, I am suffering 2010. Even if your Lordship's order is not challenged. This order, order passed on 2020. It lies upon the order to some extent. But so taking into consideration. Goes, no, Malur, kindly see the, kindly the order, your Lordship. I have seen the order. So let us wait for the appellate court's decision. It is submitted on behalf of the alleged contender that the order dated 8 August 2017 passed in WP 23332 2332 within bracket W of 2015 which is relied upon by this court in the order under contempt dated November 29, 2022 has been carried in appeal by the state. Well, after lapse of eight years. Paragraph. That can be evident from the order itself. In view of the above, comma, let the matter appear under the same heading on 28th March. 28th March. Great. Next. The poor petitioner is suffering since 2010. For getting the result of their grievances. Kindly see, in that manner, appeared before the appellate they, forum and, uh, they are dragging the matter. Well, that is before the appellate forum, you can ask for an expeditious disposal. I shall. I shall. I shall. Next. Grateful, my lord. He appeared in support of the petition. Contempt petition. <laughs> they are deliberately refusing to give respect to the order. This should not be continued in this It district has file. been served upon the additional district judge. Yes. Yes. I have filed the affidavit of service. And they previously they refused to accept also on, on one plea or the other. Deliberately avoiding the law. Yeah. They must adopt the hierarchy of the courts. How long should he, should he suffer? 1960. award was passed. Deprivation of land and the award also. Nothing. No interest. Nothing of the sort. Something has to be done. As a last chance, I'll fix a short date for his appearance. Otherwise, I'll be constrained to issue a rule. 
a specific date for appearance, let it be Mr. there. Mr. Dave, please take necessary steps. My Lord, please. He is there. He won't come. On the next day, I'll issue him. As a last chance, I'll give has him to, a... Has to, has to. There may be some, some hierarchy of DJ. Absolutely. No, such uh, insubordination cannot be accepted. It appears that despite service of notice, comma, Sri Dinonat Prashad, comma, additional district and sessions judge, comma, sixth court, comma, Alipur, comma, the alleged contaminant herein, comma, has not cared to appear before this court. Or this delivered state. the awarded amount. Stop. The order under contempt has also not been complied with. Wait. Take exception to this lordship. This is too much. Lord will pardon me. Paragraph. This court takes serious exception to such conduct of the alleged contemnor. Paragraph. As a last chance, comma, the alleged contemnor is directed to personally appear before this court. and submit an explanation as to why rule shall not be issued against him for non-compliance of the order under contempt. Paragraph a comma in default rule be issued. Paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on 26th February. 26th February. Great. I am grateful to God. God will pardon me my exuberance. You see, these are all DTs. Without without the way they cannot be run. Well, first of all, I want to know whether they will find any reply or not. If they not, then I shall stop. So we have filed our file report. Yes. So we have filed our compliance report against that. They have filed their exception, my lord. The order has been complied with my submission is this, my lord. Well, how they scandalize the order, I will show. Supreme Court's order candidates, my lord's order also. My lord, lord can you see? First of all, if they are on the merit of the order, it's in order. What is, what is the order passed by my lord? And the, kindly see the contempt application. <clears throat> but the contempt application, the order have been annexed. Yes, an order was directed to be passed in terms of the judgment of the Yes, Supreme. yes, but how they have, so how we they have considered that judgment and this judgment is not yes, applicable yes. in case of the people. Yes, yes, I, I will show you, have, my Lord. What is the judgment? How they can scandalize the judgment? I will show. Kindly, kindly, I will give me some time. The order my love, was directed my... to be passed in terms of the judgment. So there was no scope for the alleged contender to judge whether it is applicable or not. The court has held it to be applicable and directed an order in terms of the judgment. Uh, so the alleged contemnor could not have held that it is not applicable. There was no scope. But, <laughs> but I, I have... Let me let me go through the order under the affidavit of my lord, May I read my lord? Give, give me a minute, please. Mother, it's an affidavit in opposition. Yes, my lord, I file. But I will kindly see my lord, how they make the false statement in this order. Give, give me a my minute. lord, this will find order dated 10th of the uh, uh, first order, third. They give me time to order number. This is uh, where is the order under uh, the order disposing of the root application, the uh, representation? Page page seventeen of my report, my lord. 
टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लॉजिकली ऑर्डर ऑर्डर सी ऑर्डर नंबर टू कहीं लेवल टू फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑर्डर नंबर टू द पिटिशनर एपीआर एंड फाइल हाजिरा द पिटिशनर फाइल द पिटिशन फॉर एडजमेंट ऑफ़ डेट फॉर समिशन ऑफ़ सम फर्दर डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन कांस्टेबल विद द क्लेम टाइम अलाउड नेक्स्ट डेट ऑफ़ हियरिंग टेन टेन पिटिशनर एपीआर एंड फाइल हाजिरा सीन हाजिरा and kept this case record as part of proceeding the case is taken up for passing final order the facts of the case are stated below that for the construction ila my ila that is when affected the embankment in sundarbon area and land acquisition being 4 1971 of 2010 2011 logically consider this is an urgent acquisition lordship knows well under section 4 of the act urgent acquisition means money has to be 80% money has to be deposited that is the law i am not But saying anything no 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 let me finish then was initiated under provision of acquisition act 1984 1980, for acquisition acquires within the uh, uh such a vast amount of land has been acquisition now under section 4 it is provided Three of the assertions that third January 2012 was duly published. Now all these things are matter. Nothing that RS plot numbers AP 574 and 575 Moja Moja uh, Madhav Kati or Jalma to not involved in the land division. Lord Sir, kindly see my read petition. I have also annexed the their own own information report. That this part of the land has been acquired by the authority. My read please, and Lord, will also kindly see. Even my Lord, I have also annexed, annexed in my, uh, in my contemplation page thirty, with reference who has given this SPIO. Kindly see my contemplation application. This person, kindly see. SPIO page thirty. S P I O and special land acquisition officer. What they have said? The contempt application. Contempt application, page thirty. Last page. Well, first, well, got it. Page thirty three zero. Three zero. Yes. Last page. Last page. That's page twenty five. Oh, last page. Well, there is no. Well, R S plot number five eighty of Mojam. माधव कटी जेल नंबर सत्तर से पीएस वास एक्वायर्ड इन द ईयर 2010-11 प्लॉट नंबर 574-75 मगबरी ऑफ द माधव कटी और सत्तर से जिम्बलर वाय नॉट फाउंड इन्वॉल्व इन एल केस लोशन कहीं नहीं सी एल केस नंबर सत्तर से एक्वायर्ड 76.1.764 एकॉर यस कंपनी हैज बीन डांड पार्टली कार्ली रिमार्क्ड इट Done partly. It is their report. They same officer. They said they are paid entire. And this report of can you see twenty one twelve two thousand eighteen. They have passed an order on merits. Malad, I I I show. 
how they have taken this merit i have taken to that uh, i don't think in a contempt application i can go into the of the yes I, i have also i have to some say something about if they can scandalize the order of the supreme court and my lord's order then why contempt will not be they have not scandalized but logically see logically see kindly see how they have they have said first of said that we have not served any on 10 10 we have did not given any documentary evidence regarding our title you are on merits of the order i cannot consider it in a contempt application no man the order which they have passed if they yes. if, if if they refuse to accept the order of the supreme court and they make they have not refused they have given an explanation no explanation let's can see the explanation i am that that's why i am I am file this opposition. Kindly see the explanation. They have given an elaborate explanation. Yes, yes, that's why they have said given the explanation section twenty four two. I am not on twenty four two. I never pray for uh, uh, giving back my land. I am on the compensation. You have to challenge this order. Yes, logically, see this order is already 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 been in the read petition. That part is taken. Logically, see the my reply. Kindly see, kindly my my opposition. Kindly see a moment for a moment. What they have said. Judgment of the appeals court. I have I have specifically specifically given. Maladi in in my paragraph. And if you also want to see the judgment of the appeals court. I have brought that judgment. Let's go and see what the Supreme Court said. Can we see whether he has at all considered this judgment or not? If he has not, you have to challenge the order on merits, sir. But in a is, contempt application, it cannot be done. But I have said on the basis, Lord Sir, has passed the order on the basis of the judgment. They will consider. In terms of the judgment, but, they have considered but the judgment. Yeah, They have taken into consideration of the first part of the judgment that this is not a lapse proceedings. So that is a I, mistake on merits. Ma, Lord Sir, kindly see, ma, kindly Lord Sir, kindly give, permit me. They cannot avoid this in this fashion. But this is very is unfortunate. Lord Sir, kindly see, see, they have considered section twenty four two all along. Never they have considered. Thirty thirty six point four expression paid under section four twenty four two this part the expression paid in the main part of the section twenty four two of two thousand thirteen act does not include a deposit of compensation in court even deposit is not allowed the compensation of non deposit is provided in proviso to section twenty four two in case it has not been Deposit there with respect to respect to majority of the land holdings. Then all beneficiaries, landowners, as on the date of prolification for land acquisition under Section Four Ninety Eighty Ninety Four, shall be entitled to compensation in accordance with the provision Section Two Hundred Thirteen Act. No compensation has been eight after I am showing my the read petition. Two thousand eighteen, I filed him. Read petition before this court. After filing that read petition, 2018, they paid this money, but no calculation has been given, and according to them, part has been paid. We pray for compensation under section 2030. Why? Because within five years, 2011, 12, 2, 2017, no assessment has been made from their own. Own every day, we logically see own documents which they have uh, given to me in the read petition I have annexed. There they say you must realize one thing: you are making. But this your, point has already been taken in the read petition. Your entire submission is on merits of the order impugned, which cannot be dealt with in a contempt application. You are aware, sir. You being an experienced person, you are aware. Uh, but at logically see trying how to... how many read petitions we file. Can't help if you are not happy with the uh, representations order. You have to file a separate petition. The order is co substantially complied with. If you are not happy on the not merits, substantially, they complied with that part, which is not at all in But the. 
education, I don't think I can help you. Heard learned counsels for the parties. Paragraph, it appears that the order under contempt has been substantially complied with. In view of the above, the contempt application being CP and such is disposed of. Paragraph, there shall have been order as to costs. Paragraph, however, if the applicant petitioners are aggrieved by the order passed by the alleged contempt or comma, they are at liberty to challenge the said order on merits in accordance with law. Next. Okay. Yes. Container, the conference report has already been filed and it has been complied with duly in terms of your lordship's order. My lord, I am for the petition. Yes. I'm appearing, my lord. Thank you, my lord. No, Leonard, I, would, the... I would like to file an objection or exception. Uh, in further date, my lord, kindly have a look at their compliance. Please come back with your exception, my lord. And let me have a let me. Have a lord, lord, if your lordship permits, may I uh, show some photographs taken today morning of that place? The lines. Really, do not mean anything. Come back with your exception, my lord. My lord, I'll file a reply to his exception, my lord. Yes. May I file a reply to his exception? Very well. Let him come back yeah. with the exception, my lord, my lord. My lord. Uh, the applicant petitioner seeks to use an exception to the affidavit of compliance submitted on behalf of the alleged contender. Paragraph. Let the matter appear under the same heading on 15th March. It's on him, Whenever he finds the exception, Please serve an advanced copy. My lord. Not as London GP said, we'll file to the reply to the exception. No, no, let it come and my lord is of the view that let it come and then we'll never take ending. this will be a never ending process but i don't know my lord i i saw personally that it was done but i think it's not done we'll see the line, on prayer of the alleged contender liberty is granted to use a reply to the exception how are you now better but it will take some time it appears my lord because of my diabetes my lord i've been told that it will take oh. some time I'm very grateful to your Lord. Next. No, grateful to your Lord. My Lord. Obliged, my Lord. Mr. Miller, in this matter, I am for the applicant. Last occasion, your Lord, she pleased to direct to file exception, a report filed by the authority. My Lord. My Lord. Uh, no, my Lord. I'll just see one by one. I'll see the order first. That is totally not. filing. My lord, how? My lord, out of nine, seven got compensation. My lord, out of nine, two has been rejected only on the plea that the uh, applicant number six. His claim has been denied only on the ground that he has not submitted record of rights. My lord, in the read petition also, I have submitted record of rights. In the read petition. Thereafter... The authority doesn't have the read petition. You have to submit before the authority. My lord, I, I have submitted it. I, I also... I, I also... My lord, I have annexed here also. Where is the order disposing of the representation? My lord. Yes, in the main in the academic. My lord, my kindly come to uh, my my lord, kindly come to my uh, application page number fifteen. Now give me a minute. I would like to see the order uh, which has been complied with. This is minutes of hearing. The last page. My lord, minutes of hearing. I have taken exception to this uh, minutes of hearing. But where is the order of compliance? Yes, I have seen, but where is the order? After that, my lord, your lordship was asked me to clarify. Then my lord's clarification was, I have given the standard people. 
alert they are alert a bit a bit of compliance so issue. compliance report filed by the subbrato mandal subbrato mandal subbrato mandal all the partners are paid by the only 6 and 8 only 6 and 8 malad 6 there is the order nine persons isn't it malad Six and eight. And eight six and eight, yes. Six and eight. Now, my lord, I last my lord, uh, according to your positive qualification, I clarify for nineteen on January to four months. You are not finished by last five months of clarification. Nineteen one. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay. Yes. 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 Shatra Agaro Duhajatish. I mean, Shaita the exception. Fifth January 2024 is the operated complaint. Last order. The last one. My lord, may I submit one thing? They have denied my claim only on the ground that I have not submitted record of rights. Uh, on during the time of hearing, they have said we have not acquired four plots of land. My lord, I have trying to establish my uh, case. My lord, enclosing all the documents. Kindly come to page uh, page five of my exception. My lord, kindly for a moment. Page five of my yes exception. My lord, I have enclosed here with which is. Also, the page number 22 of the read petition also. I have enclosed here. My lord, plot number 259 and 262 by 555. And also, another two plots of land. Mainly come to next page, which is deed. Thereafter, kindly come to, mainly kindly take trouble to come in the page number 13 of the read petition. No, of, the, of my exception. My lord. My lord. My lord, here I have enclosed the Niru Pandit, page 13 of the my exception. 555, 439, and 440. My lord, thereafter, they are saying we have not acquired the four plots of land. My lord, kindly come to their first notification, which is page. No, no, they have said post acquisition. Post-vesting. Uh... No, no, that, that is for Purna Chandra, not Mahadev. I am coming to Purna Chandra. My Lord, kindly come to page, page 25 for a moment. Page 25, page 24, 24 for a moment. My Lord, I have, uh, sorry to hear, circle, mark it. Yes. In the total plot here, I have written 439, 440, and thereafter, my Lord, 259, Thereafter, circled mark 262 by 555. That is their first advertisement for them. Thereafter, they submitted my lord map, which is the uh, to erect the embankment in the Isla affected area. It is stamped with superintending officer of the eastern circle. My lord, that is four plots of land in the embankment area i have circled also here yes, yes. 439 440 259 262 
my lord thereafter kindly come to next page which my lord 20 page 26 after your lordship's order they made an inspection in presence of the petitioner they have give handed over this document my lord in the uh, serial number 2 they have written four plots of land mahadev das bhagwat 259 262 by 555 and thereafter 439 440 they have written also the quantum of land 37 point something decimals well, they are they are after my comprehensive representation where i have also stated for land so my lord there is no any business to give my uh, claim my lord my lord it is established that there is four plots of land and i have the owner of the four plots of land thereafter i am coming to purna chandra das they have said that i have it is a post purchase post purchase acquisition my lord i have stated a deed page 28 my lord thereafter your lord said take trouble to come page number 33 my lord 33 just before the schedule it is it is bangla son bottom of the page Bangla Chuddo Swagaro, Ingraji Duhajar Pach, Duhajar Pach. My lad, it was executed in the year 2005. There was a provision for pending deed. After depositing the deficit stamp duty, they, there is a provision to make the final deed. When was the final deed? That was 2013. I have paid deficit stamp duty in so 2000. That should be the date of registration. Malad, Malad, date of date of execution. It was executed in the year 2005, and it was finally uh, given to the authority. The even if that your lordship last occasion, even if that your lordship last occasion uh, instructed to the authority, even if post purchase, they have not given the compensation to the earlier owner also. I have taken this plea also in my exception, Malad. Malad, that's all. Yes, sir. Now, now I can give you the number one to five. That's the number six. Now, that's the claim of the ticket has been the <laughs> On four personal now, not during the time of hearing that four numbers of plot that is after all was not acquired by the authority by the authority. Case was that four numbers of plot number after having that during the time of hearing report of the authority. Another plot. Another plea. That's me. Plot number four for me. We took the position to take care of But the complaint, all the four plots were, which was acquired by my lord. Original petition, my lord. So when your lord should pass the order, that is the only one plot for what Now, my lord, when he wanted to find the representation, he add four another plots. My lord. And my lord, 440, he never produced the, my lord, the record of rights for that possible for us. He is the actual owner of the land. My lord, in the read petition. Yeah. Okay. 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 Extremely, sir. My lord, only for that reason, that is the. Why not? I am not paying the 
This is not possible for people to pay the amount. That is our clarification. But Mr. Day, your document says that these four plots were acquired. Yes, I am not. That is the my lord, your lord, she has passed the order. That order, my lord, only 440. That is another plot was there. But when your lordship was pleased to direct him to file a comprehensive inquiry, they add another four plots. How is this possible, my lord? And 440, my lord, he never, he can't produce the uh, original record. My lord, we are only paying the amount through the original record, my lord. Only for that reason, my lord, it is not possible for us to pay him on the amount. That is for the six, my lord. No, Mahadev Dash is only 440 in the written petition. Yes, no, no, my lord. So I, I, my, 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 my lord, my lord. I have, there was a mistake. But at the time of hearing, our lordship directed to the petitioner to make a comprehensive representation in inserting all the plots. Comprehensive and, means in terms of the writ petition. Malad. And also there was, I that. No, in, the, in that writ petition, I also enclosed the record of rights. They are not only the single uh, plots. Malad, kindly come to, for a moment, kindly come to. Read petition. So, Day, instead of coming back with another fresh read petition, let me pass an order in the content application for the authority to consider the case of. You can Because the authority is so rigid. Malad, the 440, up till now, Malad, there is no record. How we pay the amount? When your logic can pass the order, you can pay the amount. Your logic will be responsible for that. Malad, 440, up till now, Malad, nothing was there. My Lord, I have enclosed in the read petition. I have enclosed the record of rights. At page? Page 22 of my read petition. You didn't produce this before the authority? My Lord. Didn't you produce this before the authority? My Lord, I have produced. They have saying. Page 22, where is they are the saying. Page 22 of my read petition, I have enclosed the record of rights. There is 440. Not, there is, there is not 440. There are 259, 262 by 559. Yes, these so, are the other four plots. Man, but 440 is not here. Not 440 I have written in the uh, uh, column uh, in page 4. Document, document. Document, document I have enclosed in my exception. In not in the read petition, sir. No, not the in the read petition. You cannot go beyond the. But these four plots are in the read petition. Four forty. Four, four, four forty is not. That there. is not my lord in the read petition. If your lordship will see, it is a I state and submit the statement. That is my lord. If your lordship will see that. Sir, I am not going to take the other thing. That only plot number four forty. Only one plot is there, my lord, 440. In that picture. Not, four plots. not only one. I have annexed the record of rights. And 439. Uh, I think it will be better if you, because this doesn't cover those plots. This is beyond the red petition. Right. And since contempt application, the scope is very limited, you are aware. Right. Yes, you cannot go beyond this. Why don't you file a fresh representation, these two persons? I or these two, two, no, my lord, Purno Chandra Das is very much clear that that is not a post purchase. It was executed in the year 2005 and thereafter. When is the purchase complete? What does the law say? My lord, it will be counted from the date of the execution, my lord. The law? Law? What does the law say, sir? My lad, only for the deficit it's was, the it was registration, com completion of registration. Even if that, my lad, it is it was not it post post vesting. My lad, it was vesting it was started in the year two thousand five and completed in the two thousand. Start in the year nineteen ninety, but it is complete only upon registration, sir. Well, then he will not get the compensation. He will get my, post post uh, vesting purchase. My lad, kindly direct. It has not been paid to the earlier. So you my my kindly direct. Please, I cannot direct in this matter. Then I'll come to fresh uh, repetition. Only for these two persons. My, right. File fresh representations before the authority with all the documents let them consider. Exception used by the 
applicant petitioners to the affidavit of compliance submitted on behalf of the alleged contaminant is taken on record. Paragraph, it is not in dispute that that it appears. It appears that compensation has been paid to applicant petitioner numbers one to five, seven one and nine. Five, comma seven and nine in compliance with the order under content. Paragraph. It appears from the affidavit of compliance submitted on behalf of the alleged contaminant that The sixth petitioner claimed compens uh, claim claims compensation in respect of plot number four forty has claimed has claimed compensation in respect of plot numbers four forty in the writ petition, but has not been able to produce record of rights in respect of the said plot. Stop the said. Petitioner has claimed compensation in respect of four other plots which are not part of the writ petition for which compensation has not been granted to him by the authority. And three other plots. Stop. Total four. Three other plots. Uh, three other plots. Good. Also, comma. The eighth respondent was not granted compensation by the authority since he is a has not been granted. Has not been granted since he is a post vesting purchaser. An award was declared in favor of the then riot. Stop. Paragraph learned counsel for. Applicant petitioners number six and eight seeks to submit a separate, uh, submit a comprehensive representation <laughs> seeking payment of compensation in favor of these applicants upon annexing relevant documents. Paragraph the order under it appears that the order under contempt has been substantially complied with. Paragraph in view of the above, the contempt application being CPN such and such is disposed of. Paragraph there shall have been orders to cost as in certified website form. Malad, uh, in respect of Purna Chandra Das to post Subject the documents. Malad, uh, I have that document. The, that... the authority says Malad, that kindly the... at one line, authority. even if it is a post acquisition purchase. If it is not paid to the earlier, the your earlier, well, if it is not paid to the earlier, sir, I cannot hold anything on the risk. Grateful, day. next, then right. Next, I am for the petition. I am for the alleged contemplation, my lord. My lord, order has been complied with my lord. Repeating your service has not taken ready, my lord. My lord, it's a, lord, yes, complied with my lord, I, I have status yes. report is with me, my lord. No, 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 no. And my lord, let me press my case. Man, let him come back with his affidavit of compliance. No, no, no. I have to say something about your lordship's order and previous order. That can be said only after the compliance report is before the court. Not I'm after, not before. Yes, yes, yes. Let him come back. Okay. And I have no objection. 
learn it counsel for the alleged contender uh, submits that the order under contempt has been complied with notice so, has been issued counsel for seeks to submit the affidavit of compliance on the urgent date paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on 6th march come ठीक हम डेट टू मैं नेक्स्ट the lord and not complied with all the affidavit of compliance has been filed i have not received the money but money is not the issue the issue is that there is gross and deliberate violation of the order passed by my lord but well, this is in the form of affidavit on behalf of the alleged contender number 2 as per liberty granted my lord sir my lord i have filed i have been served and the state alleged contender number 3 has also filed an affidavit to which i have given my exception you want to use an exception to this also no because i will deal categorically over here it am a exception to the other and i'm okay उटेंड <laughs> specifically the executive engineer national highway enlistment to to dispose of my representation now at that juncture while disposing of my representation the national highway executive engineer millard uh, ascertained that my land is a chut plot subsequently it was merged and subsequently as per the record of rights of the government it is noyan juli so i am not entitled to any compensation because i have i have i i am not the owner of the property it's a chut plot well challenging that order i filed a writ petition before my lord now my lord specifically dealt with all those allegation that chut in that application also the blro filed a report the state respondent claiming it to be chut plot and also the concept of no injury now everything was struck down by my lord and my lord directed payment of compensation in respect of 1.65 decimals of land because i prayed for 1.65 decimals of land at that point of time this because at that point of time that much land was only utilized now during pendency of that writ petition my lord my entire land was taken away construction done but my lord's order was of 1.65 decimals of land so the ele collector ordered only compensation in respect of 1.65 of decimals of land and again taking the land as noyanjuli and chut plot and considering a valuation of 2005 a government notification of 2005 now lord that was challenged before my lord again that was challenged before my lord again in that writ petition my lord passed a detailed order saying that compensation has to be paid in terms of the act of 2013 where my lord categorically dealt with the valuation of 2005 <coughs> the noyanjoli portion the chut plot portion everything everything this measurement has been made yes now my lord interestingly again measurement was done given notice was given to me i was there for the purpose of measurement after that no notice was given to me for hearing now compensation was ordered again considering the land as noyanjuli same thing which has been turned down by this court i will show it's there <coughs> considering the land as noyanjuli not only that where from a concept of valuating a land at half portion i don't know because there is nothing in the right to fair compensation act he says land since it's a noyanjuli so valuation of the land is not available from the registry office 
or from the district registrar. <coughs> so as per the government notification again of 2005, I will consider the value of the land as half and I will pay compensation. Not only that, section 80 of the act specifically says that in case of delayed compensation, you have to pay interest. Nothing, nothing. Valuation less, nothing, no interest. Now, uh, different stand has been taken by the executive engineer himself saying that it's a noyanjuli and it's therefore it's, if it's a noyanjuli, it's a government and we, are, we will not pay the compensation. Now, I will show that whatever point today is being taken by the state authorities, Lord all well taken, all were well dealt with, the state respondent represented, the national highway authorities represented, and this way from 2017 till date, <coughs> I have been harassed like anything. Now, the previous land acquisition collector <coughs> did nothing. Well, admittedly, he is guilty of contempt. Admittedly, he has not complied the order. Millard, guilty of complaint. Now, the second land acquisition, Millard, the new incumbent, Millard, has passed the verbatim order, which was set aside by this court, and fresh order was passed, has passed a, a, a absolute cut, copy, paste order. Considering no injury, 2005 valuation, all this set aside by this court. Millard, today, my lord, on the last occasion, my lord, I argued this matter before your lordship when Miss my lord was pleased that was pleased to ask them to present personal appearance of that person. Although order was not there, but he has not appeared. On the last occasion, my lord made it a specific clear that a rule of content will be issued because my I shown my lord all the documents, but my lord was of the view that you come back with an exception with all those documents. My lord, now let me place all the documents one by one. Because this is important. My Lord will kindly take my ex exception. <laughs> my Lord will kindly come up straight to page 25 of my exception. Shantanu? Hey, original chicken and fish. <laughs> your exception yes page 25 of my exception My Lord has found that. Uh, I think the state also needs to deal with this exception. Have they received? Yes, I have. Some the copies. Of, yes, you have copies of the exception with you. I have got the copy. Yes. I have got the copy, my Lord. You've got the copy? My Lord. You've also got the My Lord, I have. To deal with the exception. This is a what? If what Learned Council says is correct, this is a clear case of content. My Lord, these are all. Yes, compliance means true compliance, proper compliance. Yes, we got where they have calculated as per 2013. That is, I'm showing, showing. He has calculated in terms of 2005 notification. Since it's a contempt application, let them place their case first. Yes. Of the first contender? Yes, well, it has to be contender number three. Although they have filed as contender number one, but contender number one has relinquished his office. It's the contender number three, Miller, who has filed this affidavit. Prior to that, what is Tapun Kumar yes, he's the rich contender number three. Yes, there is seven of my input products. Yes, Tapun Kumar model is three. Yes. And you have stated one. One is Shamul Kumar Pal, my lord. He has transferred. My lord, London friend is confusing, getting confused. 
पेज That is transfer. Where is the compliance? Page fifteen, Millard is the order. Millard, uh, kindly see page fifteen, page sixteen, second paragraph is the ordering portion. उंडिंग लैंड इफ सेल डाटा इज नॉट अवेलेबल now taking the vastu class of land from the available cell data are considered as surrounding land and thus the rate of uh, and are considered and thus the rate of top half of vastu class of land is taken up and 19 out of 37 cells of vastu class of land for deriving market rate by 2013 act and it comes to rupees such and such per decimal as on 31st of december 2017 now your lawsuit directed to consider as per 2017 man Where is this half in 2013 Act? Uh, in that event, they have to make challenge this matter. Is in order. They are matter entering the merit of the matter. Is in order matter. He thinks so. Uh, next matter. Rate of non-jury pakarasta comes to masking half of the above rupees such and such per decimal as on 31st December 2017. Thus, average rate of 11 decimal of non-jury pakarasta class of land as on 17 matter comes to rupees 26 lakh 10 10,432. Only one. Accordingly, adding multiplying factor 1.1 to the land value per decimal, and the amount comes to such and such for 11 decimal of land. Adding 100 percent solution on factorized value of land, and amount comes to rupees such and such. Mother, as such, the amount comes to rupees 57 lakh and or, mother, for 11 decimal of suit land as in 2017. Hence, the instant proceeding compliance to order passed in the Honorable High Court shall be disposed of. Don't you think you have to file? Uh, you have to challenge this order so, on merits. So, because it's actually, it's absolutely my lord contradict to the order passed by my lord. That is what I am want to show. That is what I am showing. Can you see the order cal- passed by your lord, sir? What order? Because you saw, this, this, this entire set of calculation which was done, my lord, that was that was previously there also. But I challenged it by way of the writ petition, which my lord disposed of. Which my lord disposed of this 2005 notification, this rate of half calculation, it was there, my lord. That I am showing, I am showing. Now, my lord, he has my lord shown, my lord. Now let me show my lord the entire thing. My lord will now take my uh, exception, my lord, page twenty five. Page twenty five of my exception. Yes, my lord, this was the initial order of Jati Standard because now they say no and Julie, my lord, they cannot, my lord, uh, say what has been struck down by the court. The second, my lord, the second paragraph is important. Miss and Miss Chu and so the learned advocate who normally appear on behalf of. NHAI is requested to appear. My lord, they were represented first. Thereafter, the grievance of the petitioner in the instant writ petition is that NHAI taking advantage of the adjacent land having acquired under the national has encroached upon his land and making construction there too. But that was my case. So, my lord, the last portion of the order, second page, second page, page twenty six. In view of the above, this court permits the petitioner to make a comprehensive representation application to the respondent number three within two weeks. Will the respondent number three is the executive engineer in H division two? Now, will the kindly see the order passed by the executive engineer at that point of time in the in the year two thousand eighteen. Page twenty seven. Yes, page twenty seven onwards. The relevant portion, Milad, is page thirty. 
Second paragraph, ten lines from the bottom. Second paragraph, ten lines from the bottom. On keen inspection, has my lord find the king? On keen inspection of the cadastral maps and ROR of Moja Kolika Khali, Purva Medinipur prepared and finally published under the provision of so and so. It appears that the plot in question is shown as shoot plot. In reference to the Moja map, it is also noticed that plot number 1121 has merged with plot number so and so. From finally published RS and AOR, it appears that plot number 107 is classified as Noy and Julie. But that was their basic case at that point of time. But I challenge that order. I challenge that order in a deep petition. 21268 of 2019. My lord, that was disposed of my lord. In that matter, my lord, the BLLRO filed a report. The report is at the next page. The uh, concerned page is page number 34. My lord, kindly see. Sub WP number 21268, subject matter to petitioner versus the state. My lord, with due respect and humble submission, I understand, would like to inform you and draw to your kind attention. The following fact that on verification of record, it is seen that the plot so and so 1121 is shown as shoot plot. So, no compensation arise. So, Noyanjuli and shoot plot that my lord has got their initial contention. Now, my lord, kindly come to order passed by my lord, page 40. Page 40, page 42, paragraph 4, Millard will find that challenging the illegality of the order passed by the executive engineer. Page 42, paragraph 4, challenging the illegality of the order impugned passed by the executive engineer, National Highway Division 2, dated 30th August 2019. Learned Council submitted that the executive engineer is not to authorize to determine right and title, my lord, there. Now, paragraph 6, my lord will kindly come to paragraph 6. My lord has observed, my lord has quoted the entire uh, order passed by the executive engineer. Placing reliance on the affidavit used on behalf of the six respondents, the learned counsel for the respondent and submitted that the plot in question is a shoot plot both in KBL and NR plot information. The order impugned demonstrated that plot number 1121 has merged with plot number 1071-1390 classified as Noyan Julie with an area of 2.72 uh, acres has been recorded in favor of the works and de uh, building department, government of West Bengal, so and so. Well, that was the, uh, uh, that was specifically recorded. Now, now what my lord ordered, paragraph 8 onwards, I have considered the submission made on the parties as well as the law on the point. Thereafter, elaborately my lord dealt with that and very important, paragraph number 10, page 45. It appears that from the letter issued by the executive engineer, plot number 112 was, was missed out from the bulk land acquisition process. Once they say it's Noyan Julie, once they say it's, it was missed out from the bulk acquisition process. And process of acquisition was same being initiated by the department. Process of initiation was, initiation was uh, 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 acquisition was initiated by the department upon identification of missing plots. The letter issued by the National Highway Wing on 16th May 2019 speaks in the tune with earlier letter and indicates that the dispute plots along with other plots were left out during the earlier land acquisition proposal for acquisition of plots were absolutely necessary for implementation of the project. My Lord, then my Lord has dealt with the entire thief fact. Now, my Lord, paragraph 12, the shoot plot proportion has been dealt with and thereafter, uh, page 47, paragraph 12, the KBL NR plot records plot number 1121 as shoot plot. The said records indicate that the plot was in existence and several recordings were delicate before recording as shoot plot. Considering all those, my lord allowed the spirit petition asking them to pay compensation. But prayer E, paragraph 16, my lord, prayer E was only with respect to 1.65 decimals of land. 1.65 decimals of land. Now, Milad, after the order was passed, Milad, the LA collector, hey, volume, it's zero in the full volume. 
pilot will take volume 3 page 606 608 and page 49 together because where is the earlier order of, order of the authority which has been reiterated in this order? Milad, uh, page 608, that is what I am showing, of the contempt petition. But that was challenged before, my lord, where the read court has passed this order, which is now under contempt. <laughs> 608? Yes, volume 3, page 608. Order dated 24th, May 2022. <clears throat> Mallard has found that? Yes. Yes, Millard, Millard. With reference to the previous passed by the undersigned, Millard, that was the 25th uh, March 2022 order. But that is in my exception, Millard, page 49. That's why, Mallard, I said that Mallard will take the, both the orders together. Mallard, the relevant portion is paragraph number one, two, three. three. In previous order, Mallard has found that. In the, in the previous order passed by the undersigned on 25th March 2022, the block land and land reforms officer was directed to submit a report uh, whether the suit plot is recorded in the name of Paddhavuti Bhuya, Shantosh Kumar Bhuya, but concerned block land and land reforms officer has misjudged himself and failed to submit the relevant report. Hence, his report is unacceptable. However, the petitioner has informed the undersigned by this letter that he will be willing to accept, accept compensation in regard to 1.65 decimals of land. Now, Milad, for assessment of land value of the food plot, that is no and Julie. Again, the constant state geo from so, so and so dated 2000, dated 21st July 2005, dated 21st July 2005 has been taken into consideration. The rate report has been approved by the district magistrate, Purva Meninipu. The rate per decimal of land is assessed as rupees 237.102. Will that, that is the half of the value. 462, half, 237. Half of the value. Only after 1.65 decimals of law and Julie. Again, class, it comes to 391218. In light of the above observation, the order dated uh, that the executive engineer for uh, uh, appropriate action as per the order of the honorable to court to pay compensation assets. In that order also, there was Millard, no compensation with regards. There was no interest, no solatium, nothing. Only Millard in the present order they have granted solatium, yes. etc. But but this calculation was done again. Half value, Millard. I challenged. I challenged in now, the present repetition. Yes, and they are Millard. The order was passed, which will find uh, which Millard will find in the exception also in the contempt also. But uh, it's easier, Millard. To show from the contempt, Millard, page 53. From, from the exception, Millard, page 53. Page 53. The petitioner claims, Millard, entire detailed order, Millard, is important. Page 53 of my exception. Yes, now Milord, in this writ petition also, Milord, the state filed a report. That is, Milord, the previous annexure at page 51. But categorically, they said that the land has to be measured and compensation is to be paid. No question of Noyanjuli or anything, Milord, came. Nothing was there to dealt with. All of a sudden, Milord, which has been struck down, Milord, in the 21268 proceedings, and the the way the calculation was made, which was struck down by this order in the before this court, that the same calculation can be done, Millard, and they say that it's a fresh cause of action. Millard, this I should say, Millard. Hey, Joyce and Gupta, sir, for your order today. 
Millard, this particular LA collector, in all contempt proceedings, he is doing the same thing. One order passed, challenged before the court, the same order and order passed for fresh assessment, the same calculation is being done. And before the contempt court, they say, go, this particular gentleman go and say, I have complied the order. Will Lord Justice Shen Gupta in one of the matter against this particular, will Lord, this same petitioner, will Lord, the same LA collector, the same proceedings, will Lord, what my Lord uh, Justice Shen Gupta has observed kindly see. Will Lord, this is the conduct, will Lord, that is what I am, my Lord, this is an order. I do copy the reach, will correct copy Rate same, record same, everything same. Justice Shen Gupta specifically start, stuck down, asked him to personally present before the court. And when he's present, when he was asked that, how can you do so? The, the same thing at the con consecutive times. He, there was no answer. Specifically, everything turned down. And over there, from 2,87,000, the compensation was raised to 90 lakhs. Well, this is that order. Page, page three, page two, my lord, elaborate my lord, order has been my lord made. The same thing, all things remains the same. And he says, I have complied the order. Then what is the my lord, if I ask a question to myself, what is the my lord, uh, say, uh, effect of say, to striking down an order and assessment of risk compensation? But they are also same thing. Two lakhs thirty-seven was awarded. I challenged the order. The read court directed fresh compensation as per Act of 2013. The same order was passed. Yes. And now, Milad, I am not. Same order. I am not. I am not on. But I yet been completed, Milad. Milad, this is the Milad genesis, Milad. Half there is no nothing interest, and Milad, uh, the. Executive engineer, now today they are saying what they are saying today, Millard, that it's a noyan julie. So we are not entitled, we are not entitled to pay compensation. As of now, Millard, that 57 lakhs, which has been awarded, Millard, which is absolutely bad in law, that that also has not been paid. Now that is the exception, that is the affidavit by the executive engineer saying that noyan julie is a government land. Millard, if somebody out of their own accord, will not transfer my land to Noyan Julie, merge my land and say, Noyan Julie or Pakka Rasta. Noyan Julie or Pakka Rasta. They're not, not only said. No, no. Pakka, my Lord, where is that determination? Because it's an entire Bastu land, my own property. That is, my Lord, the, every time they are saying this. If they say Noyan Julie also or Pakka Rasta, the valuation is of Noyan Julie. 237 previously. Now 462, half. And you have produced deeds of 2018, 2022. Lord, I, am, I have produced, they have assessed as per 2017, but 2017 there has to be as per Bastu. Not Noyan Julie and Pakka Rasta. That's why they have not got the valuation report from the registry office. Yes. The same thing. My Lord, I am for the alleged contempt number two, my Lord. My Lord, the Report says, Malad, if your lordship kindly see the report in the form of affidavit, Malad, page 23. The additional district magistrate and the district land and land reform said, officer has submitted the information that the out of the 11 decimal land, 4 decimal is the Pakarasta, it is to be acquired. It is to be acquired under the provisions of law. But rest 7 decimal is the Malad, no injury. It is still now no injury, recorded as no injury. That's, that same thing has been turned down in the earlier retribution. And you have recorded the same. Uh, my Lord, the record of rights is to be, to be corrected, my Lord. My learned friend has have to make an application for correction of the record of rights. Unless but the record I of rights made. Unless that the record of rights is corrected, my Lord. You are arguing. My Lord, shoot plot, they cannot, I cannot, my Lord, get my name, my Lord, what argument? My Lord, now, my Lord, I, let me show the order, my Lord, of... My Lord, unless... not made a fresh consideration at all. 
स्टेट But all over, all over, they never said anything. Yes, the we are. There will not be. I am still now the saying that the land, what is the recorded by the state government, we are bound to uh, uh, that that recording. We are. Uh, we are not saying that the uh, we will disobey or everything is that. What is the recording is there? We shall acquire according to the record of rights. And the record of rights, it's a chut plot. I cannot even change Millard. Well, of their own Millard, they have done so. All these were Millard categorically Millard deleted by this. Can you explain clarify in the earlier? Two chut plot is not there, but the well, kindly see my my report. Chut plot March with no injury. All over the case been made out, struck down by the court. Out of eleven decimal Millard, the last and extra that page twenty three. Four decimal is the paka rasta, and paka rasta, my lord, I have to acquire, and I have to make payment of compensation. I he has to acquire, my lord. Heaven will fall when they will acquire, my lord. In the earlier order, also you said it was classified as non-jolly with an area of two point seven two acres. My lord, this order was turned down, and you have made the same order again. My lord, he he it is the record of right hand. My lord, he has turned the order. Person, your lord seems reaction, my lord. You will not see directed us to take one measurement. We have done the measurement, joint measurement. And you have made the same order. You have copied the same uh, order. Not same order, man. We have we have given the calculation and the breakup. Okay. We have also given. It's a uh, uh, half half uh, value. That is on merit, man. Man, half value have... was turned down, rejected in the uh, by the last petition. You have again taken the same thing. So this is not compliance. Sir, this way they will every time. But he is not satisfied with the calculation or the assessment. He may challenge it. Yes, every time I will go and challenge the separate petition. What is the question? Pass by your lordship. Madam, this is not compliance at all. You cannot copy the earlier order and. So, my lord, it is not correct statement, my lord. No, no, it is not the correct statement, my lord. Yes, yes. Every time, my lord. What was the order passed by your lord? Any petition. What was the order passed by your lordship, my lord? I am reading, my lord, your lordship's order. Well, I have annexed with my compliance report. R one page ten, my lord. Report that what was the order that was turned down, which was set as. My lord's direction is this: upon consideration of the submission made on behalf of the parties, this court is inclined to hold that the since the petitioners claim compensation in respect of the area of eleven decimal of land in plot number one one two one. The fifth respondent is directed to take necessary steps for measurement of the plot in question in order to <clears> assess <throat> the area of the plot utilized by the res respondent. It is my that the measurement has been taken. What portion has been utilized by the respondent? It has been complied. I am reading my one by one. My coming. The measurement be made in presence of the petitioner, his authorized representative, on the basis of the Moja map of 1913 and 1914. to be provided by the petitioner to the concerned authority and a report to the defect be submitted within 6 weeks from the date of communication of this order okay. this also been complied with upon receipt of such report fifth respondent shall take necessary steps for assessment of compensation payable to the petitioner in terms of the act 13 and in tune with the market value of the plot in question as in 2017 upon consideration of the deeds Of the adjoining plot submitted by the petitioner, entire exercise directed to be complied within further six weeks from the date of receipt of the order. My lord, your lordship, kindly turn to my lord. No, no, what the lord? Paragraph eight. Oh my god. Epidemic. 
most common parasite page 3 5 my lord most common is state that following facts which are germane of the adjudication of the complaint application in pursuance of the solemn order dated 5th july 2023 passed by the honorable court in connection with the wpa 18479 of 2023 in the matter of santosh kumar bhuya versus state of west bengal the undersecretary land collector and the special land acquisition officer kumlu Guru Mendi put the fifth respondent in the initiation proceeding. Roman two. At the proposal of the order, it is transferred. There are two operative parts in the order of the Honorable High Court, Calcutta. A. The land acquisition collector and the special land acquisition officer, Guru Mendi put being fifth respondent in the WPN has been directed to take necessary steps of the plot in question in terms of model map of 1913 and 1914. That has been well complied with. Measurement has been taken. That's the produced by the petitioner. Yes, in presence of the there petitioner. There was also no injury. There after no, the time of measurement, measurement also. Hello, there what was, was in the record, my lord? We cannot go beyond the record, my lord. Let it be changed. We can consider it. If he is not satisfied with that, he may challenge it. Then, my lord, the land acquisition collector and the record of rights are no injury. Further direct to take necessary steps for assessment of compensation in terms of the Act 2013. And in tune with the market value of the suit plot, as in 2017, upon consideration of the deeds of the adjoining plots submitted by the petitioner. This second part is also been complied with. Thereafter, it is an admitted fact that all deeds submitted by the read petitioner, that is the deeds of the 2018. So these are subsequent deeds. That, one. that is subsequent, my lord. Not all, not the two, that cannot be considered, my lord. They are under my in pursuance of the order passed by the Honorable High Court amount payable to the petitioner has been assessed and it comes to the 57 lakh for each of 2950 for 11 decimal of state plot as in 2017. And that has also been my sent to the my lord, the requisition body. Yes. As it is in here. Where, where there is, is the measurement in your uh, affidavit of compliance? The first part of the order. Measurement. My Lord, page 27. Demarcation of the page 27. 27. Body. Approve the subject matter in reference. I tell you, this is to inform me that joint demarcation of the subject was conducted in the use of the application. Delay official and officers of the case on 2nd August 2023. As per order sheet of the executive number in the court court, as well as the inquiry report submitted by the RI, the series plot number 1121 has completely been marked with the RI. So, where are the other parts? But it was the first read petition, it was moved before your lot sheet. Then, landing question is my marks with them that there is an existence of that plot. Thereafter, your lot sheet passed the order. That it was there earlier. Then, uh, yes, my lord. Marked with order plot number one. So, there is the demarcation of the 11 decimals. My lord. The petitioner is claiming 11 decimals. Yes. Now, the demarcation of that the has they have not annexed, they have not supplied so the nothing. Nothing. No, no. No, no. No, no. Inspection, when you cannot deny. It was. I mean, what I deny could change inspection. No, no, where is the report of showing 11 decimals of demarcation? It is not going through the report, my lord. Let me go through the report. As per demarcation, report and case map of the school to exit the middle portion of the NH 11163 of the Kumar to the jointly signed state map inquiry report corresponding to RS such and such plot information is enclosed here. Next page, my lord. So, Mr. Kondupathai, your report says it is not noyan jolly then. It exists and in which... Actually, that is not noyan. Next page, page 28. Uparyukta Dabguli, Postimongo Sarkarer Prokhya, Works and Building Departments and Namito Yelar, Arsho Biyalisiti, Ligi Gaddo Vajyachi. C.S. Agaroso Dager, Sambhutno Aksho Bortoman, RSO LR Agarusu Hajar Akarto by Tarosu Bukui or Visho Sakas Tarosu Takasin and Vishia Yachi. They have Bortoman, they have such a last of Mudobotis Tane Ovostito. They are a term by the sketch map. Next page, twenty nine. Let me supply it. 
<coughs> so it is on the road. On the road. Eleven decimals of land on the road. On the road, on the road. So how have you how have you calculated the? And my next question is the share of my next question is the hatti. No, no, just like it. And the report the report is the name of the works and report. Now, Millard, may I conclude the read petition? But this is DAG number 1121. One, one. One, one. Corresponding RS is uh, uh, 1071. Yes, yes, yes. Initially, what they did, Millard, they Millard marched. Merge the land out of their own accord. They out of their own accord. Miller treated the land as no and Julie. Lord, I challenged everything, and everything was set down. Miller, Miller, the heat petition, Miller, which is and the order. You cannot challenge the classic classification of the land. No, I am not. No, no, I am not challenging that. Yes, I am not. Miller, I am not challenging the classification, but the point that was there was this particular land. Which was Millard award was to be awarded. Millard today, my lord, they cannot say and claim it. It's said no and Julie because it was my Bastu land. The issue is earlier you were granted compensation for one past two. Past two from yes. which record? Millard are the by he is yes, claiming that, that that it was, is home that state Bastu land. But from from which document it is to be said that it is Bastu land? One past six two. In the meantime, all the entire eleven decimals. Were Not only record. that. My Lord will kindly see the prayer in the read petition, my Lord, page 49. I have challenged the valuation. I have challenged the, the notification. It has not been set aside. Yes, my Lord, uh, my Lord will kindly see. So. No, no, page 49, my Lord, is the prayer. Page 49 of the is the prayer of the read petition in which, my Lord, the order is passed under contempt. I have specifically, uh, my Lord, uh, page 49. Read, 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 of mandamus or in the nature setting aside or quashing the order dated 24th May 2022. That was the order, Millard, where valuation of that half valuation 2 lakhs 37 Millard. Uh, yes, to the extent that the payment of compensation to be amount to be reassessed. Page 49. Of Millard, uh, volume 1 of the contempt petition. Yes. Yes, page 49. Page 50 is the prayer. Second prayer is for declaring the plot to be unaffected. Page 49, the prayer G. It's not telling. There are four numbers in each page, actually. The final number is 44. Page number will change again. Three code of five five code. Ah, please come back some other day. It's five twelve thirty. Miller, the for point only one minute. Miller forty nine. So Miller after calculation because the government notification of two thousand five based on which that valuation order was passed. Miller, I have categorically challenged that which Miller has recorded in the order. No, no, but no, the prayer was not allowed. There's no uh order. Fresh assessment. Fresh assessment. As per Act of two thousand thirteen. Please come back some other day. Yeah. Monday, Millard. Millard, 80, 80 year old senior citizen Millard is suffering from this in this manner. Monday, because even I have my doubts. Necessary step for assessment. Fresh assessment. But this is purely on maybe. No, no. Millard, if an order Millard, which has been categorically passed, Again, the same can be passed, Millard. Then, Millard, it will go on. When I go through these two orders, it is not exactly the same. Millard, 2 lakhs 37. The 2013 Act. No, Millard, then how can a government notification of valuation of 2005 can be taken into acceleration? And where is the half consideration? Challenge on merits. I'm of the prime officer view that it has to be challenged on merits. Millard, every time. No, no, Millard. Every time, Millard, they, they will do so. I will Millard, challenge. Millard, this is the third round of litigation. I am challenged that valuation they also. Are they are not no, no, Millard, the valuation is the same. Into consideration. The valuation has and been the so same. The valuation has been increased. No, 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 no. 462. Come back, sir. Yes, Millard. I will come back. But then the counsels for the parties. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading for further consideration. On 29 February. 29 February. 
डीपली ऑब्ज मिलोड अलग डेबिट डेबिट ऑफ सात बीच में ना तो उनसे ऑर्डर हम लोग को था सेवरल प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंस माय लॉर्ड सेवरल प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंस यस माय लॉर्ड सर यस माय लॉर्ड ऑल सर फर्स्ट वन इज नॉट सर आइटम डिस्पैच्ड मालूम तो वहीं दी एबीडीबी ऑफ एबीडीबी थाबीस मालूम प्रीपेयर मालूम एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट डज नॉट सो दैट वेदर इट इज साफ और नॉट एंड नेक्स्ट पेज मालूम सो दैट इट इज साफ ए डेलीवर्ड नेक्स्ट पेज ईच एंड एवरी पेज डेलीवर्ड टू कॉपीज आर देयर All of them same. All of, all of them. Sir, may I request you to appeal? Please serve a copy to Mr. Dey. Yes, what is the matter? My Lord, uh, petitioners. मतलब टीमिसेस इज एडजस्टेड टू दी रूम नारायण डैम माइक एंड देयरफॉर मतलब दी स्लोप ऑफ दी रूम नारायण डैम मतलब दे आर यूजिंग एज देयर इंग्रेस एंड इंग्रेस एंड माय लॉर्ड सर्टेन सम स्ट्रेंजर माय लॉर्ड कंस्ट्रक्टेड दी पाका द टेंपरेरी एज वेल एज पाका स्ट्रक्चर ऑन दी स्लोप ऑफ दी मतलब रूम नारायण डैम एंड मतलब नाउ दे आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर माय लॉर्ड परमानेंट स्ट्रक्चर एंड देयरफॉर माय लॉर्ड दी पिटिशनर my lord made uh, earlier uh, occasion my lord uh, representation to the uh, my lord sdo my lord ghatal and thereafter also they have made another representation uh, another representation my lord, they uh, he has not take any steps and therefore my lord the petitioners bound to file this uh, read petition before your lord where is your representative my lord kindly see My Lord, uh, Annex P three, page eighty. Page eighty. <laughs> uh, that is thirty uh, first uh, uh, January two thousand twenty four, and there uh, earlier okay, Jan. वाला ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री डेट इज एटी फोर एटी फोर इसकी डी लास्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन भी कौन सी है यस यस एवरी एवरी ऑफ सर्विस प्राइवेट रेस्पोंडेंस डिस्पाइट सर्विस कार्यक्रम ऑफ़ द पीटीशनर्स क्लेम टू बी द रिकॉर्डेड ओनर्स ऑफ़ द प्लॉटिंग क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज सिचुएटेड एडजेसेंट ट� Dam of River Rupnaran. Yes, sir. The petitioners complain that the private respondents have raised unauthorized so, construction by encroaching upon the said okay. dam okay. adjoining the petitioners' except for apostrophe land, comma thereby obstructing their egress and ingress. Stop. The petitioner petitioners. Submitted several representations before the concerned authority in this regard, 
which fell on deaf ears. ears. Stop. The petitioners finally submitted a representation before the, before the authority on 31st January 2024, which has also not been considered. Stop the petitioners. Pray for a direction upon the authority to consider the representation at the earliest. Yes, Council for the state respondents submits that the third respondent yes, be directed to consider the representation in accordance with law. Paragraph in view of the above, the petition is disposed of, directing the third respondent to consider and dispose of the representation submitted by the petitioners dated such and such within three months from the date of communication of this order upon affording reasonable opportunity of hearing to all the interested persons, including the petitioners and the private respondents, comma, and according to the law. Disposed of, etc. And my lord, uh, also Minsa and my lord, 21st uh, July 2023 also. My lord, representation, uh, last okay. representation. I have stated that you have filed several representations. It's identical. Yes, it is. I appear for the respondents. My application, my lord. <laughs> now, my lord, the premises is popularly known as my lord, the CMRI hospital. In two phases, my lord, portion of the premises was acquired under the Mallard, the Material Air Construction Act 1978. Now, Mallard, I was asked, as I was asked for, we filed our claim under Section 13. And that is pending adjudication. Today, I came before your Lordship because prior to filing of my this application, when this acquisition notification came, uh, published, I drew the attention of the concerned authorities to let me know the uh, to lend me the certain queries from the competent or from the authority concerned to ascertain the actual damage that may be sustained by the bill by the by the petitioner as well as to take the proper measure to uh, prevent the damage. Till date, the Mallard, I have not been informed. Now, Mallard, since there was a notification under Section 13 that uh, inviting application, Mallard, I filed my claim application. And I also, Mallard, indicated the damage that may be happened, but that is not the actual one. Because, Mallard, for the purpose of Mallard to uh, claim, uh, to file my application for damage, to quantum or assess the quantum of that is, Mallard, this is very much required. Uh, if you'll also kindly turn to the page 239. So that is the last annex chair. With reference to that, let's go to it. Yes. With reference to the directives or the competent authority asking that for claims to be filed by the Calcutta Medical Research Institute in view of the proposed of land acquisition for the Joka BBD Park section, we have initiated a detailed impact study to arrive at the relevant valuations. The impact analysis of the proposed in line in front of the hospital is being assessed from a structural point of view. We have appointed a structural engineering uh, consulting firm to study the impact and guide us further on the structural stability of the hospital. This study would also like to evaluate operational disruption, disruptions, if any, which could be caused by such construction across the hospital. Now, these are the Mallard, the uh, queries, queries we raised. Now, Mallard, that is Mallard, till date, without assigning any reason, that has not been furnished to me. Because, uh, because why I am before your Lordship, Mallard? My claim application is proceeding. And I will be the worst sufferer for want of this information. Kindly have a look. It has not been assessed as yet. Because I have quantified, I have said, but I cannot, my lord, the sustain that damage in actual. My lord, kindly see, my lord, the, my understanding of this section is this. Kindly have a look at the, my lord, section 13.
because I have filed my claim. And while determining this lot, where a land building street or road passage acquired under this act, there shall be paid an amount which shall be determined by an order. So I cannot file my subsequent claim to that. Once this has been decided, I cannot file my second claim in respect of the self same proceeding. Yes, let us hear the... Milord, there, are, uh, actually, just, there are two other parts, my lord, that there are two applications, two claim petitions, my lord, and my lord, one is at page 73, and another is page 199. And because of this, because there are two notifications, Yes. That is one mallard JB645 of 2022, and the another is mallard JB657 of 2022. Mallard here, mallard, uh, what I have prayed, the pendency of furnishing this, uh, mallard, uh, this uh, mallard, the queries. Now, mallard, I have prayed stay of the proceedings pending before the competent authority. Because, in fact, mallard, I am self injuncting myself. Because I will not stand in the way of handing over the possession, I will not stand in the way for the uh, construction work. But for the purpose of determination of compensation, I am praying for stay of the proceeding. Milord, here, Milord, the annexure P6 is the letter, Milord, where this letter was addressed to Mr. C.P. Singh, Additional General Manager Civil, RBNL. And this letter was not, Milord, uh, given to other authorities. Only one authority, this was delivered. Copy was not delivered to other authorities, Milord. General Manager Metro Railway was not delivered. Milot. It's not supposed to know, sir, who is the competent authority. Milot. This is one of the competent authority here, Milot. What happened, Milot, that this letter, when addressed on 14th December 21, that time, Milot, after shock of the COVID, so this was misplaced. And therefore, this was, this, Milot, queries could not be replied. Information which sought How for... How much time will you require? Milot, the... one week, one week time I need, Milot. I will, uh, I will provide the information I sought for here, Milot. And let the matter be fixed, placed for orders after one week. For orders after one week. My lord. And in the meantime, kindly stay with the both the proceedings. My lord. My lord, my, I am one self. Week. One week, please. One week. Because 16th is the date, my lord. He is proceeding like anything. The competent authority. He is proceeding like anything. My lord, we will no, not do anything. I, I, I will... My lord, he is not to do anything. My lord, he is not the competent authority. 16th is the date for what? For uh, further uh, adducing of evidence. Everything is contained. I have prayed for it. Not, not, uh, it will not be confirmed in a reply. Because, I, because, my lord, kindly see. One, my three three witnesses have closed their you know, Let the matter be placed on Monday for orders. Thank you. For us. And kindly, my lord, kindly stay. My lord, because I am self injecting no, no. my. No. My lord, my. I don't think it will be necessary because I am facing a very. Because, because I tell you, lordship, why? Because I am facing there. I, will, I have filed another application. Why, 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 before your lordship, I will demonstrate what is going on there. Well, the competent authority is acting. I am on affidavit, I will say, at the best of the metro railway. Well, I will come. I, I am filing another application today, uh, day, today or day after tomorrow, my lord. I will file that application. Now, my lord, what I am praying, my lord, to avoid any I further I am self injuncting myself. I understand, but I don't think it is necessary at the moment. Let us come back on Monday if the authority is not ready by Monday and pass it on. Yes. And it will appear for orders on Monday, so that Mil it appears at the top. For orders, my mm -hmm. lord. It's a very simple issue. Please provide. Yes, I will provide information yes. by that time. Yes, my lord. By 16th, I will. I will. I will. And matter will appear on Monday. Raised certain queries before the authority as instructed by their structural engineering consulting firm in order to assess the impact analysis of the proposed metro railway construction 
in front of the hospital from a structural point of view. Stop. <laughs> Though such application was made on 14th December 2021, comma, no reply has been furnished by the authority. Paragraph Learned Council for the Respondents <laughs> such information uh, 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 that the information sought in the application shall be furnished to the petitioner. by 19th February 2024. Yeah. Paragraph in view of the above, comma, the matter is adjourned. The matter appeared under the heading for orders on 19th February 2024. Thank you. Mr. Deepakas and Arajmela, kindly allow me to pray on that day to adduce my additional evidence on, on the basis of this. Because I, that will, that will uh, affect my claim also. Because you, your because uh, on the basis of the authority, yes, competent authority, my lord, my lord, my lord, my lord, my lord, obliged to next, next day. My report was uh, no, my lord, this is not the time for mentioning 20 items, it may, may not be taken up today. Interim order expires today. Item number 20. 20 though? Yeah, 20. If it, if it is taken up on Friday, an engineering order may kindly be extended till my Friday. Uh, my Lord, uh, this, this matter, Lordship, can be taken up Friday on top, my Lord. Uh, Lordship, it is... Uh... Well, well, kindly take it top, my Lord. Friday, top it up and connect into the next one. It's the second matter, Lordship. Yes, my Lord, my Lord. I'll take up the matter on Friday. Yes, I, 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 want to express. I have not called the matter, sir. I cannot extend it to him. Otherwise, when in this between these two days, holiday, otherwise, that is why I mentioned yes, I don't... It's last day. No, I am not saying I am saying last day. Today, it is an interim order. Millard, I cannot file application also. In between, no, no, I, I know, Millard. Since your lordship many a times extended, Milad, I am saying only Friday. And I the matter is not called, Mr. Vasan. Then Milad kindly calls it at 115, Milad. Come back on Friday. If you at the top, I will consider. In the meantime, if the demolished, Milad, kindly at least uh, record our subject. There's no demolition in this. There's no notice for demolition. They have given the demolition. Two days, I'll take up the matter on uh, yeah, Friday. Friday, only on top, my lord. On top, on Friday, but on, subject to your undertaking that you are not demolishing them. My lord, oral undertaking is there. Not recorded, my lord. My lord, I will. If it is, I, I will intimate, my lord. Yes, my lord, I will. Uh, I will intimate, my lord. The report was given. <laughs> This is the report. Yes. Who is uh, Mr. Day is appearing? Yes. Well, my case has been admitted. Well, in one way. What is your case? Well, my my his case. Yes. Paragraph three of the petition. His case. Paragraph three of the. Paragraph three of the petition. petition. You wanted now, my lord, to release the land. Yes, my lord. My, my land, my land was taken as extra land for the project. In the year 1990, government decided to issue. Since the land was taken as extra, at present there is no density of land. Land may be relinquished. Since the land was not uh, released or relinquished, I moved a repetition. Your lordship directed to consider my representation. They considered the kindly see the reason order, my lord, as page 50. From the reason order, it appears that by lot.
they say it is required for further widening. They say it is required. So no question of oh. requisitioning. Yes, my lord. My lord. I I I must have submitted on the earlier occasion the 95 decision my kindly city still exists. There the, but there is no other or further decision superseding the same. Page 38 and 9, my lord. That is the it's... requisition order. Relinquishment yes. order. Yes. This is my prayer. What does the report say? And the report was the same thing. And we'll have to kindly see the reason order last para. They have they have said that they have prepared the list. They have not said they have paid the amount. So compensation has not been paid and possession has not been taken. My lord, your lot should be in paragraph three, your lot should be in three. Three of of the police petition. Nothing else. Right. There is the admission. After that, he can't, can't challenge that acquisition. Yes, it was acquired compensation, not paid. Not paid, yes. He refused to accept the amount, my lord. My lord, what is the meaning of it? Your petitioner said that though formal acquisition was made yes. in respect of the land of the petitioner, but the compensation amount was not received. Was not received. Was not received for such land, either by the petitioner or their father was life in it. To that effect, the petition number two, for, for information under the prescribed before the respondent number three, seeking information regarding the acquired area of the land, of the relevant plot, and whether compensation has been paid or not, and whereas the same respondent number three replied that the total land, 16 respects of land, has been acquired from the same plot, and he also replied that nobody has received the compensation amount. Now, while on page 50. Page? Page 50. Page 50, yes, one. Can you see? Yes. Oh. In reference to the above hearing, his ballot that is the all of Pole is present and file Adira. Art the petitioner at length. Gone through the petition dated 8th court in 2022, submitted by the petitioner. The contention is that the petitioner wants that the plot number of Moja Nopara will be released in their favor. On verify the related documents, it is found yes. that the suit plot was acquired by Dele case number Ato. Payment notice was served. Up yes. to Gold Moon Collet. But Gold Moon Collet did not receive the award amount and requested in writing to deposit the award amount to Judge Court. Yes. According to the revenue list, was prepared for depositing the award amount to the court. Thus, the process of acquisition was complete. Now it is stated that the question of relinquishment of the suit plot does not arise as the requiring body stated that the suit plot is required for the widening and strengthening of the Aramba. Road. So it is admitted the money has not been deposited in the judge court. You have Only no payment notice. My our father yes, I have requested and requested to deposit the judge. Yes. They have not deposited. They have only prepared the list. Kindly see the reason over my lord. And my lord, be that as in me. I think it is acquired. Even then, my lord, ninety five decision. They have said that the land was acquired, but as an extra land. No further. That was in 95. So there may be a change of decision I no, now. No, let them say no decision. But this is my case also. You still required the land. Yes, my lord. For that reason, my lord, requiring what is required the land man. Only for that reason. But required. I am for the acquiring body man. If the requiring body my lord, if, uh, requested me, my lord, that I am. Uh, this, but this is the decision of the requiring body. 95 decision is the. By the requiring body. Page 36, Malik. The decision may change in 2022. You cannot stick to the 95 decision. Maybe at that time it was not required. Well, it, uh, you it, have it not. Subsequent requirement. No. Where is that but, document showing that the requiring body requires it now? According to the, this. Uh, yes, it, is a request. it is a request made. Yes, Malik. Where is the request? My, my prayer is made that no further 
decision has been made superseding the earlier. This is my case also. So my earlier decision is still exist. And while the payment has not been made, so the land is not acquired. Land has been acquired because you have requ your predecessor requested them to deposit the amount. So where are those documents, Mr. Day, that the amount is lying with the district judge? Only the preparation, preparation of lease. But this was taken as extra land. Yes, Yes. That is my lord. The request when proposed is allowed. So, if any difference to up above, we are requesting to let the underside know whether any proposal for any plot number is or not for construction of Aramba to Kilo Road. Please, with the district government, has been sent from your end, and EPS please update the status of this. Now, next phase, man. Regarding. With the reference to the above subject and memo number, I the understanding is there by enclosing the letter that I have to number, I have to provide the request to the higher planning certificate of the people. In this regard, the office corresponding letter was by memo number, I have to memo number, I have to and I have to the direct product, which was fixed for itself. The land in post check cannot be really increased for the reason stated there for further widening and strengthening of Aramba and Kiro Road. Where are these memos? 2007 memos? Those are not annexed. Speak for itself. Uh, those are not annexed. They have to supersede the earlier. And we'll kindly see one space 16 of the report. At the top, revenue deposit list. List. The compensation paid, there is no document that compensation has been paid or deposited to the district judge. Or deposited to the district judge. He refused to receive the compensation. No, no, no. He re requested deposit yes. the amount with the This is the law. Court. Where is the, that? Uh, that is the list is there, my lord. This is the list. They cannot win. My lord, that, that is the amount will be paid. If he wants amount, he will get that amount, my lord. That is the procedure. If it is not paid, it has to be deposited before the LA judge? Yes, Where my lord. Is that deposit? Yes. Where is that document? That it was deposited before the LA judge? That is the another part, my lord. It is the Otherwise, it is that is not complete. Then, my lord, your lord should pass Admittedly, the land was taken as extra land. The money is our, in our treasury, my lord. That, that will not lack the entire person. There is the document showing that the money is in the treasury. Money in the treasury, that is in the only a list, uh, preparation of a list doesn't show then deposit. I, I, the can, money. I can file the supplementary manner to the deposit. But, but they have to they have to deposit the money to the, in the prescribed time. Now at this stage they cannot not now. They have to show a document which shows that that money was deposited within to the, the district judge. Time. To the district yes. judge, yes. Mm -hmm. In terms of this list, list was prepared within time. But then yes, 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 yes. Deposit of the money within time that has to be shown. That is one part. Second part is the, de the de uh, relinquishment pro the proposal was uh, issued, and this proposal was not cancelled. Yes, this is this. That is page eighteen. Well, let them show this the subsequent circular. Page eighteen. Page eighteen. What does page eighteen say? Of the These letters will speak for itself. What will what, what will speak for itself? Those letters must come. Yes, yes. please produce those letters. Yes, a two part, my lord. There is two part, my lord. Compressors are not deposited. Report in the form of affidavit submitted on behalf of the state respondents is taken on record. 
memos referred to at annexure L, L, L for London, to the report to indicate that the land in question cannot be relinquished for the reasons stated in the memo comma that is comma for further widening and strengthening of arambag hyphen tirol t i r o l tirol road paragraph these documents are necessary Mr. paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on 18th march under the heading mention matter under the heading mention no, no. matter 18th of March. Next. It's 17. Zakshi, I beg to appear on behalf of the states. Her matter in respect of issuance of land loja. Issuance of? Land Luja certificate. This, this is the one second round of litigation. Uh, you are appearing for all the respondents? Yes, ma'am. I am for the state. Uh, I have. Uh, just, uh, this is a report. Madam, I to report that. Well, I have challenged the um, region order uh, passed by me, district uh -huh. magistrate collector for Mushidabad. Well, is the it's third the, page. Let him complete this case first. I rejected my prayer for land loser certificate on the ground at that page? at page my lord 29 and 30 29 page 29 and 30. Yes. So, Dada. Uh, at page 30, my lord, accordingly to notification of labor department, government of West Bengal, bearing number such and such, dated 21st August 2002, issued yeah. in regard acquisition of quality quantum of agricultural land, that is three decimal acre, from the family of the land loser, from the father of the petitioner, did not effect substantially to its main source of income. Moreover, main source of income of the family is not for agriculture activity as certificated by the video Bhagavan Gala 1. My Lord, my father in, in page number 29, my Lord, uh, third column, the monthly income of his father Family is 8,000 from business and as proof he enclosed a certificate from the video of Bhagavan Bula 1. Uh, business, my land, only students of land loser certificate, my lord. And the same, so how, how same. How affected by acquisition of the land? It, it, the father used to run a business and this is agricultural land. Yes. My land. Dara Bulch. Now, my lord, <clears throat> subject to correction, my lord, that land admittedly has been taken. There is no question. Yes. 
Now, my question is, my lord, a report, some probably my learned friend has filed. My lord, let me have a chance to controvert this report, my lord. Take and have you annexed it? No, no, no. He has filed just now. No, no. Where is the notification that? Well, this notification is not with not me. This is this is probably annexed by my learned friend. Have you received a copy? No, no, no. My lord, I served the copy. Serve a copy. Yeah, serve a copy today, my lord. So that, my lord, I can take an exception thereafter. Your lordship decide the issue. Kindly come back on at, uh, to, at two p.m., my lord. Can two p.m. Me kiya? Two p.m. Just say both. Other. No, my lord. The on the same footing, another person has been given that certificate. I have annexed to that. Let let my lord go, go through the report first. Otherwise, my lord, it is a well argument on here. <laughs> A report submitted on behalf of the state respondents is taken on record. Uh, you want to use an exception? Yes. Paragraph uh, on prayer of the petitioner, liberty is granted to use an exception to the report. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading. On 18th March, Please serve an advance copy so that we can take up the matter. Of yes, yes. No, my lord, I have to file the exception uh, by way of an affidavit. The report is not on an affidavit. It's only a report. Yes, he has filed that report. Want, but... sir, use an affidavit, you can do that. Yes, yes. Next. 18th point. Deeply obliged, my lord. I'm for the petition. A matter relates to removal of enforcement on the uh, PWD road, my lord. This is my affidavit of service. Private respondent refused to accept the notice, my lord. Track report is page number 13. My lord, this is a matter. Page number 13 is the track report of the, and by uh, envelope is with return to me, my lord. With the postal remark refused. Lord. Page number 13 in the middle portion, 5th of October 2023, item return refused. Postal cover is also with me, man. Well, this is a matter relates to removal of encroachment made by the private respondent on the public, uh, on the PWD road, my lord. My land is adjacent to the PWD road. And Here my representation. Uh, yes, my lord, that is at page number 13. We have uh, conducted an in inquiry through the BLLRO. What he found is that but there is a noyan jewelry recorded in the name of the collector. Yes. Over the noyan jewelry, some construction has been made. And also, we the petitioner has also encroached three feet of the noyan jewelry. That is the Miller report. Can I Next page is the BLLRO report, and this is, this is the summary. If there is any encroach by us, we shall remove it. I input the bullet. Also, an encroacher. Lord, that is not my. If there is any encroachment made by me, I shall undertake to remove such encroachment. Remove all encroachments. Yes, my uh, PWD. 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 Paragraph service yes. upon the private respondent has returned with an endorsement. Still, I will the PWD. Paragraph the petitioner. What is the name of the PWD? the be the recorded owner of the plot in question and complains that the private respondent has been unauthorized construction by encroaching upon a portion of PWD land adjoining his plot. The petitioner submitted a representation in this regard before the concerned authority on 31st July 2023 and 6. Government and the 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 government and the
that upon demarcation of the plot in dispute it is revealed that both the private respondent and the petitioner have encroached upon oceans of PWD land classified as non -jury. non -jury. classified as non -jury. paragraph in view of the above comma this court is inclined to hold that since encroachment upon PWD land by both the petitioner and the private respondent has been found upon demarcation comma the concerned authority comma no, only, the, only one submission land is recorded in the name of the collector not PWD department name, name recorded in the name of the collector that is my instruction. So it should be government government land. land. It should be government land. Sixty two act. Sixty two act. Government land eviction of. Because that is the report, my lord. Collector land. District magistrate Patias. Highway hotcha na thala. Now usually, I mean, highway hotcha. Rasta, please. and recorded in the name of the collector. This one and number? District magistrate is respond number two. Is due respond number five. 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 Being the fifth respondent here in comma, be directed to Initiate proceeding under the West Bengal within bracket. Fine. This will not be the Highways Act 64. No, no. Collector. 62 Act. Collector has to take steps. No. SDO can do. Closed Act. SDO initiate. 1962. Against all the encroachers and take the proceeding to its logical conclusion within three months from the date of communication of this order upon affording reasonable opportunity of hearing to all concerned, including the petitioner and the private respondent, comma, in accordance with law. This was the first chapter. May I have a copy of the report from my friend? It's a demarcation report. Give him a copy. A copy name? copy?
ऑफ द Number seven forty-seven. This is my application, my lord. My hearing, my uh, submissions had been concluded, but since then, my lord, the respondents had not been appearing, my lord. There were two occasions, my lord. Who is appearing for the respondent? My lord, Mr. Shiel, my lord, was appearing. Ah, yes, yes, my lord. Uh, on the last Mr. occasion, my lord. Joy Lokki Shiel is my lord. He is ill. What telephone now? Request me to make an adjournment today. Oh, this is slightly unfair, my lord. How many days? I would not have otherwise stood because I understand my learned senior friend's medical condition. I wouldn't have, but this has been going on for too long, my lord. I have concluded my submissions. I have renewed my bank guarantee. Yes, yes. This would be slightly, my lord. I, I'll, I'll be see you, Lordship. Because I think close the submission. Taken up even in absence of the respondents on the next occasion. Lordship has passed those orders, my lord. If your lordship flips through the order, at least not on the last two occasions, my lord. Not on the last two occasions, my lord. There were at least two other occasions prior to that, my lord, where your lordship had recorded. That in the absence of the pres uh, respondents, my lord, Lord Chief would hear and pass an order. Based on that, they came before this court, my lord. I concluded the hearing on the last. Actually, not in this matter. I do not find. Very well. But so no, the order is not protected by any key expert. An accommodation is sought on behalf of the respondents. <laughs> Paragraph as a last chance. The prayer is allowed. <laughs> Paragraph. Let the matter appear under the same heading on twelfth March. Paragraph. It is made clear that the matter may be taken up for consideration on the urgent date, yes, even in absence of the respondents. Which will kindly allow me to find my affidavit of service, ma'am. Through the affidavit of service. Deeply obliged. पता चेन्ज कर दी जुड़े टूरे दिए मन आगे दिन प्राइट रेसपन्डेंट रिमेन्ड But the facts remain, sir. That your lordship, they have also filed a supplementary report. The state respondents have filed a supplementary report because hmm, annexing some documents. Okay, the report took. There, it has been alleged, sir, that the transfer has been. Yes. Yes, my lord. Transfer has been given. This is the allegation that the transfer has been given effect by the petitioner himself. There in at Kochi or Matha Bhanga. Now, your lordship will find, and I have to file an exception because my lord, twenty nine uh, form twenty the, at page eight of the supplementary rep, uh, report. There are three forms. Uh, the the uh, two forms have been annexed. 
one is form 26 20 20 26 29 and 30 yes and 30 35 35 33 and but also comes where the signature of the petition and one one important issue is that mala there must be a form which called mala 36 under the central rules because the vehicle was under the high purchase agreement now mala the so long the in, income balances on the vehicle is there the, this petitioner mala, cannot so, sold this way so mala, this this signature that has to be Malad ascertained whether he has at all signed or not. One is this, and Malad, unless this vehicle is free from the income balances or charges, that the form has to be issued under section Malad under rule Malad 36. And Malad, your lordship will also find form, yes, form 35. Malad, there are there the borrower signature is there. Now, Malad, under that Malad. The signature of the financer has to be there. And unless the Malad, the it has been here is also. But I have to file Malad, the exception to the supplementary because there because since the petitioner himself has signed and it is within his knowledge, uh whether the writ petition is maintainable at the instance of the petition. But this has been not I I am I am objecting, I am I am joining this issue, my love. This has been signed when well, no dates has been given here. And the these are whether these are the copies received by the office or not. That where the stamps are given 3rd January. No, your lots of kindly see 3rd January 2023. Admittedly, vehicle your lots of kindly see these the 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 writ petition when this vehicle has been seized. And when your lots of kindly see. <clears throat> Tenth of August, twenty twenty-two. That is the page. Well, it is page fifteen. The inventory which I have annexed with this petition. P two. The financer Malad took over the positions of the vehicle. Then you also can leave. please come back with an exception. Well, there are some. Anomalies in this Malad, this process, your lordship. I, I also, also Malad, uh, submit a, an order passed by a coordinate bench. No, 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 that cannot be because that cannot, Malad, subject to Malad's correction, that cannot be because it is, it was registered with the registering authority, Malad Arambag. So, my original registering authority is at Arambag. Your lordship will find that. So they took over the positions. Now already your lordship kindly come to another, 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 the notice they have served upon us. Also find the Okay, we Yes, yes. Now we will also kindly come to page 19 of my written petition. It's 19 of my written petition. Yes. But there, there lots of you can will find that this notice has been issued to my client by the financer. Yes, this is prior to the transfer. Transfer is December 23. So that means this prior to the transfer, it is their contents and they will sell the vehicle. Yes. The ad, that means at the behest of the financer, the vehicle has been sold. And I made the party. And the petitioner has signed on the relevant document. Then how can it be valid? Your lawsuit finally appreciate one thing. Let them produce the records that I, I have asked for. Well, 35. My lord, kindly appreciate one thing. A vehicle, my lord, according to act. A vehicle, unless the vehicle is free from any charge and income balances under the uh, section 51. It, it, it is within the purview of section 51. A vehicle, if it is within the purview of section 51, the petitioner being the registered owner cannot have a right to sell the vehicle. Unless it is free. But that the section, that the rule 
36. The form 36 required to be submit. The vehicle is free. There must be a no objection certificate from the financer. The petitioner has only signed as the borrower, not as the seller. Well, that, that, that means, well, you also can see, there under, and uh, well, the, a signature has to be made by the financer. If you want to come back with an exception, let us know. My Lord, I, I shall, I shall, I shall. Come back. The supplementary uh, affidavit of service. The affidavit of service, right. none appears for the added respondent, respite service. Paragraph supplementary affidavit submitted on behalf of the fourth respondent is taken on record. Paragraph on prayer of the petitioner, liberty is granted to use an exception to the okay. affidavit. <laughs> Paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading. On 8th March. March. I shall serve an advanced copy of the exception. Next. Lord Chief, this is my red petition. I am. This is my red petition. I am appearing on behalf of the yes. petitioner. Lord Chief, this is a similar matter of the registration of the e rickshaws. And Lord Chief, my. E rickshaws. E registration of the vehicle of the e rickshaws. The intervener has made an application, but the intervener has not been appearing after making the application, has not appeared in any occasion. But his application was allowed. His application All, was allowed. At the very first instance, Lord Chief was pleased to allow. I will I will just take your lordship to the first order that lordship was pleased to pass. Already several order has been passed. Has been passed. This is just just we are seeking uh, direction. So have, have I allowed the intervention application? Uh Lordship was pleased to I allow. I'll I'll just take your lordship to the first order. Just Lordship, the first order is of 15 5 2023 in this matter. Uh, uh no. Lordship, I'm 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 no, Lordship, it's my mistake. Sorry. The intervention application was not up. There's no record of intervention. It has not been uh, allowed. No. Yes. There has been no. He's appearing for the intervener. Mr. Sinha was appearing himself, but after that he stopped appearing. Nothing. So I have filed another three writ petitions of the similar, likewise nature, where your lordship has been pleased to pass an order directing the registering authority to look into the same. No one for the intervener today. No. But in this matter, have you been uh, uh, allotted the brief? Alert, their application has been not allowed, so there's no question of. Not taken up at all. It was not taken up for hearing at all. No, Lordship, I. No, no, no. No, 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 no. There has been, it has been taken up on many occasions. Your lordship allows I'll take your lordship to a similar order that was lordship was pleased to pass in another matter of you're challenging the 14th July notification. Yes, I'm challenging the notification. I'm my contention is that let the registering authority be allowed. To look into it, if the registering authority sees that I am not complied with whatever needs to be complied with, then the registering. Yes, yes. I have I have complied with every. Yes, yes, Lordship. This is child cup a repetition. Uh, two for. Can will be dismissed for default. Yes. So one appearing. Yes, yes. You are not assigned with this can. He ordered a copy of chapter. Stop saying. Stop saying. Stop saying. Stop saying. Stop saying. Stop let the same order be passed. 
Petitioner has challenged the notification issued on 14th July 2022, which allows registration of e-rickshaws manufactured by Mahindra and Mahindra Limited. Paragraph Learned Council for the Petitioner submits that the battery manufactured by the petitioner is lead cell battery. Yes, yes. Sir. Is lead cell battery, which is distinct and different from the battery manufactured by the plaintiff in the title suit being TS 27 of 2018, as far as I remember. Lordship. 27 of 2018. Sure. Lordship, that's in the order reflected. The subject to your career, Lordship. I, I do not find it. I, I, may I help you, Lordship? Being TS 27 of 2018. A coordinate bench of this court, comma, in an order passed on 16th February 2022 in WPA 2070 of 2022, comma, has dealt with a similar issue and has directed the Transport Directorate, comma, Government of West Bengal to instruct the concerned regional transport officers to grant registration to the e-vehicles manufactured by the petitioner therein, subject to the said vehicles being different and distinct from the category forming the subject matter of the title suit. Stop. The petitioner claims to be similarly circumstanced with the petitioner in the earlier writ petition, since the battery manufactured by him is distinct and different from that of the battery which is the subject matter of the title suit. The petitioner further, further submits that Rule 126 of the Central Motor Vehicles Rules, 1989, has been complied with by him. But the order passed on 16 February 2022 was modified to the extent that the registering authority would be at liberty to consider all the relevant material with regard to the pending proceedings in the title suit at the time of registration of the e-vehicles. Paragraph learned counsels for the parties consent to an order in the present writ petition in terms of the modified order passed by the coordinate bench. Paragraph in view of the above, the writ petition is disposed of directing the concerned registering authority to grant registration of the e-vehicles manufactured by the petitioner subject to the said vehicles being different and distinct from the category forming the subject matter of the title suit pending before the learned additional district judge comma 13th court comma allocate and also subject to compliance with rule 126 of the central motor vehicles rules comma 1989 and all other formalities prescribed under the act slash rules by the petitioner and also upon consideration of relevant documents to be placed by the petitioner before the authority. Stop. The registering authority shall be at liberty to consider all relevant material regarding the pending proceedings in connection with the pending proceedings in the title suit at the time of registration of the vehicle. Paragraph, the entire exercise should be completed within two months <laughs> from the date of communication of this order. With the above observation and direction, the repetition being WPS as such is disposed of, which at length is of file of HACLO, of the case of course. Disposed of. Deeply of Deeply of Next. <laughs> Okay. 
when the legal metrology has said that something has to be done in some manner then the railway are duty bound to follow that rules now what railway has done and what i have stated is this when the wagon was taken through the in motion way bridge it was taken at such a speed over 100 km per hour when it was said that it has to be taken within 10 km the movement of the three See, compartments let there be a date my lord i rashi has protected me from extend out okay थर्टी my lord only i want to say i say one thing my lord the period is coming to an end within june june the contractual period will come to an end but we are standing only for february when only a four months of operation is left and roshi will kindly but you are continuing with your operation you, my lord your operation has not been stalled no my operation has, neither my operation has been stopped my lord nor there is any further allegation that i have done any overload so it is entirely for the fault of the railways which has there is no further apprehension no it further roshi has protected me for the stick okay. with re with regard to this issue yes my lord this issue next one yes 751 751 yes mr mukherjee a uh, state mr tarok karan ye darish jo order order is constant hai na na only is only change ho gaya tarok tarok mr tarok karan malar de i do not find him today malar i do not find him so okay. this is very difficult malar to what happened malar the fast the lots you kindly see the when the order first was मतलब देर मतलब दी ऑशिम गांगुली वाज अपीयरिंग ऑल एल एक्सेप्शन टुडे मतलब यस नाइन नाइन हाँ बिका अच्छा मामला बहुत तेज़ हो रही है यस प्लीज प्लेस योर केस नो मैं आई फाइल मतलब दी एक्सेप्शन आई विल ऑर्डर शिव कांडली सर्विस में आपको रिश्ता मिल चुका है बोलते तो जॉस है वो तो प्लेस ही और केस तो कोठा बोली सुनने लगा Well, the facts is that well, the petitioner made an application for grant of an auto rickshaw permit for the route one well, at route number eight. We go the respondent authority. First, his application was made sometime way back in way back in twenty fourteen. Remember that application was considered and rejected. On the ground, my lord. Now on ground, my lord, the they have summarily rejected the application. Your lordship will find uh, against that the repetition move that your lordship will find at page twenty one. This is root A R three, not eight. A R three, sorry, A R three. You're saying eight. No, sorry, ma'am, A R three. Now only your officer will find at page twenty one the order passed. Yes. Twenty nineteen. The ordering portion, and your officer will find that at in view of well, the it was rejected on the ground. The insufficient. Mm. Page twenty one, last part. It is specific case of the petitioner that the, your lordship will last paragraph. Yes. The specific case of the petitioner that they are having 
uh, that the hearing was conducted by the Secretary Regional Transport Authority and not by the Regional Transport Authority Board as mandated by law. It was further submitted that at the time of hearing, the Secretary did not permit the petitioner to produce the his update bank statement and only insisted upon the entry of the bank passbook as on 31st of July 2017. Well, on that, by the order passed. But the, uh, next page, second paragraph. In view of the above, the repetition is disposed of by directing the regional transport authority of Havra to <clears throat> region to consider the application of the petition at a place in accordance with law after giving an opportunity of hearing to the petition of the common. Now, that application was taken up for consideration again by the transport authority. And your lordship will find page 23. Yes. Then it was rejected on the ground that there, there was no vacancy. This is of 2019. Thereafter, he made an application, uh, he filed another read petition challenging that ground. And during the course of pendency of that read petition, or second read petition, third, second read petition, he filed an application under Right to Information Act. Now, you also will find there, it is found that there are, oh, sorry, there is one vehicle, but the permit has been expired long back 2012. in 2012, and that has not been renewed. It appears from the, the in response to the RTI, Right to Information and that also appeared when they filed in there the, they filed when the a supplementary affidavit in opposition there it is also averted by the mallard by the respondent that one permit has not been renewed then the big number of the vehicle was there in, in their affidavit. But on the basis of that, Malad, the said repetition, second repetition, that was disposed of with a direction. The Lordship will find that at page. Okay. <laughs> Where is the RTI reply? No, no, I, I, I'm coming to that moment. Your lawsuit, finally. What are you doing? Huh? Now we will also finally come to page 35. The order passed on the basis of that, that environment. You also will find at page 35 the order passed by a coordinate bench. And it starts on page 35. Last paragraph, page 35. Learned Council appearing for the state <coughs> places sequence of events which would make it clear that the petitioner's first applications were rejected on the ground that the petitioner could not prove his financial viability and the second ap second applications was rejected on the ground no vacancy the composite affidavit in oppositions filed by the state authorities contains statement to the effect that a particular permit mentioned in paragraph 13 of the said affidavit which was not renewed for a long time, subsequently expired. It is submitted that no vacancy is created by reasons of such expiry. Now, let, then when the decisions adopted, well, the rendered by my Lord Justice Moshe Vatajari that if the permit has already been, on the basis of well, the one another well, 
জাজমেন্ট ডেলিভার্ড বাই মাইলর জাসিস দত্ত এজ ইজ লর্ডশিপ এটা ছিল না মাইলর ইন দিস ম্যাটার মাইলর मिस्टर অসীম কুমার গাঙ্গুলি ইজ অ্যাপিয়ারিং অ্যালং উইথ মি মাইলর হি হ্যাজ মিস দা বিট টুডে রিপোর্ট देयर वाज अ डायरेक्शन टू फाइल रिपोर्ट आई बिलीव रिपोर्ट हैज बीन इट इज रेडी आई डोंट नो वेदर इट इज फाइल्ड और नॉट इट इज लाइंग परहेप्स इट इज लाइंग विथ हिम आई नॉट और दिस हैज बीन फाइल्ड लास्ट ऑकेशन सो देन लॉर्डशिप द रिपोर्ट हैज बीन फाइल्ड यू लॉर्डशिप एज पर लॉर्डशिप एंड दैट डे मैलर एंड यू वांट टू यूज एन एक्सेप्शन यू हैव यूज्ड इट टुडे यस मैम बट द एक्सेप्शन इज आई हैव आई हैव ऑलरेडी फाइल्ड एक्सेप्शन तो मतलब दिस इज एक्सेप्शन ओके यस मैम ঘুরে Lordship not very well, but earlier I was also my mother expired they, due to that. Tarok Karan appeared on that day and filed the report as per instruction of my senior. Twenty three, Malad, this matter is pending. Lordship finally appears. Extra copy, exception to her. Extra copy, thank you. Please appear on time. Yes, my lord, my lord, my lord. I'm sorry, my lord. I'm sorry, my lord. I'm sorry, my lord. I I missed my lord. I'm handing over a copy. Thank you, Lordship finally appears. Since twenty twenty three, this matter is pending. and this malat litigant malat since 2014 fighting for one after another writ petition his applications rejected rejected fourth time these writ petitions appearing exception in the form of affidavit submitted on behalf of the petitioner is taken on record the letter of the respondents the matter is adjourned paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on নট টুডে on the earlier occasion also you saw time they have sought for shine on the last three occasions last time i dismissed the matter on the next Just, can it be taken up after 15th march mr Ch then let counsel for the petitioner seeks accommodation paragraph as a last chance the prayer is allowed paragraph let the matter appear under the same heading on 20th march Good. ইউড E auction was issued and my lord petitioner participated in and was adjudged as the highest bidder accordingly an agreement was executed this is in pertains to the train which operates from shalimar to wadi bandar but after that my lord they have changed the destination station to cstm chatrapati shivaji terminus my lord uh, petitioner started operating the parcel space upon depositing the freight charges as usual as per the agreement and continued the operation for a considerable period of time that for 5 months 6 months my lord thereafter prior to that my lord petitioner was facing with some inconveniences such as that the as per the agreement my lord it is very much stipulated there in that the rakes has to be placed half an hour before the departure of the train so that the loading unloading operations can be done smoothly on the platform 
my lord that was not being given on repeated occasion even after asking for proper placement at the appropriate time that was not been provided sometimes a delay of 24 hours was also there my lord i made a representation before the appropriate authority appropriate authority took acknowledgement of that and wrote a letter to their counterpart that this is an issue which needs to be addressed from your end so kindly take necessary steps to resolve this problem once for all yes. now my lord thereafter what happened my lord the railway is unilaterally my lord against the rules of the railway board changed the destination station from wadi bandar to cst under the e auction agreement my lord and and also the fm circular 11 of 2022 there is a clear stipulation that they can do so there is no prohibition of such that they can change the des destination station or can reduce the destination station but for that willingness has to be obtained from me because if i agree to their proposal then i have to pay extra freight for that or if i do not agree to their proposal then they have to float a fresh tender for that part of this distance which they have added in the new decision now that was no willingness was taken from me my now my lord thereafter as i am saying that no resolution is coming forthwith my lord i had to suspend my operation i wrote a letter to them asking them at least kindly address this issue which you have acknowledged and redress the same so that i can operate now they didn't do so my lord thereafter my lord apprehending termination my lord i approached before this honorable court and during the hearing my lord in course of the hearing they have terminated me i withdrew that writ application i filed this present writ application i have challenged the letter of termination which they have issued on 14th of june 2023 which is appearing at page 138 and the clauses which were taken my lord that clause as per my respectful submission my lord is not applicable in my case because the clause says that if a lease holder fails to pay for three consecutive days then until unless that amount is paid they will not allow and they can forfeit and they can terminate my lease agreement this is the clause which they have applied my respectful submission is this that they have acknowledged in their own letter that i have discontinued my operation now once they have acknowledged that i have discontinued my operation they cannot apply this particular clause because i have not used the parcel space rather i have discontinued it so the clause which they have applied is not applicable in my case <coughs> now my lord i have approached this honorable high court the honorable high court has please to at least direct them not to liquidate the bank guarantee which is deposited with them now my lord for clarity may i take your lordship to the because the termination which has been effected upon me was instantaneous and it was not with a prior notice no show cause was issued there is a provision of prior notice which they have not issued moreover from the clause which appears from the termination letter itself my lord which i say is not applicable in my case because if there is any violation the violation has been done from railways end because they have not followed the rules and they could not at least demonstrate any breach of contract on my part because once they have acknowledged it my lord kindly come to page 126 for once in the earlier it petition the same issue was taken issue there was no termination letter i apprehended termination but when they have issued the termination letter when the cause of action changed fresh cause of action fresh cause of action so i have to withdraw that one and i have filed the fresh one challenging the termination letter which i have annexed at page 138 my lord kindly come to once for page 126 126 yes it's their letter <clears throat> yes my lord kindly i am reading the letter this is has been issued by the divisional commercial manager kharakpur one of the signatory in the lee of the lease agreement it reads as thus in reference to the above subject it is to intimate that this division has leased out parcel van lvbh by train number 12870 howra cstm sf express on round trip basis to messrs js cargo service moradabad for a period of 2 years 
from 26 12 2022 to 25 12 2022 with a contract value of rupees such and such now the concerned leaseholder white under their letter of dated has put forth their grievance which is self explanatory in the in their above said letter the concerned leaseholder has raised a similar issue of late placement of lease parcel van at SHM and subsequent problem faced by them for such late placement. Hence, it is hereby requested to look into the matter as well as investigate the issue, complaint, pertains to operating also. If any such delay has been occurred due to operational reasons and within the divisional control, then the same may be tried to be resolved at the earliest. My Lord, they have acknowledged it. So, my Lord, then my Lord, kindly come to page 123 on the same date another letter was issued now this is also my lord they have said that they now uh, that in reference to such and such now the concerned leaseholder wide under letter has put forth their grievance which is self explanatory and partially pertains to your end that is change of loading point my lord, two issues were there one was for late placement of rakes and another was for change of loading point from wadi bandar to cstm your reply in this regard is awaited for further compliance, the same to the concerned leaseholder, GS Cargo Service, Murada. Well, these two operations, 123, these two issues were there, my lord, which the railways have acknowledged. Now, my lord, kindly come to page 130. Why I say, my lord, that unilateral decision of change of loading point requires willingness on my part. It is very much there at page 130. 113. 113. This is the freight marketing circular 12 of 2022. My Lord, kindly come to the last clause, clause 15. Extension of train and increase in the frequency of trains. In case a train in which the parcel space has been leased out is extended beyond its initial originating station or beyond its initial destination station, then the procedure as detailed below should be followed with respect to the increased run of the train. My Lord, kindly come to Clause 15.13, in case the contractor is willing to extend his lease to cover the newly extended portion also, then also the same can be extended and lump sum lease freight charge should be increased on pro rata basis as per his existing lease charges for the extra distance covered. So you kindly mark the word willingness. Next, however, in case the existing contractor is not willing to extend his lease beyond the starting and the terminating station, for which the contract has been executed, then the Divisional Zonal Railway will be at the liberty to finalize the new contract for the newly extended portion. So in both the cases, my lord, willingness is required to be obtained from my end. And here they have extended it unilaterally to CSTM without seeking any willingness from me. This is a violation on their part. <coughs> now, my lord, kindly come to page 111. Clause 11.11, 11.1. 11 this is the another problem which I was facing. At all train originating stations, page 111, at all train originating stations, all efforts should be made to place the empty rake of trains at least half an hour before the scheduled departure of the train. However, in any case, late placement of the contractor shall be required to complete the loading operation within the available time and giving sufficient time to the railway staff for sealing the SLR. So it is a mandate on their part to at least to give me at least half an hour before or the minimum time, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But they were also not giving this. So I made this uh, representation before them. They said that it will be taken care of, but that has not been taken care of. So if these aspects are not taken care of, it is impossible to operate until unless the same is addressed from their end, which they have acknowledged. Now, my lord, this is the issue which I have placed before the railways for consideration. Now, what they did, my lord, without resolving the same, they terminated. they terminated me. And they terminated me, my lord, without issuing any prior notice. Now, my lord, that aspect, lordship, kindly come to uh, page 93 of the policy. Yes. 
by the railway administration. The railway shall have the right, my lord has found, yes. by the, the railway shall have the right to terminate the contract agreement for any reason whatsoever. Kindly mark this word, any reason whatsoever after serving 30 days notice to the leasehold. Now, my lord, in case of extreme operational exigency, railway may terminate the contract agreement with immediate effect without any financial repercussion on either side with the approval of the DRM consent PHOD and CHOD. Without any financial repercussion. Yes. Now, my lord, if I have done any breach or if I have committed any wrong, they can terminate me without issuing any notice. Now, my lord, there is another provision which give, kindly come to page another exit clause, may I say, my lord, page 103. Now, you kindly come to page 103 for once. This is important yes. aspect because it appears from their report that they have not done anything to take care of my grievances. So what best they could have done for themselves? Clause 17.2. My Lord, I'm uh, the, by the railway administration. 17.2. Railway shall have the right to terminate the contract agreement without any financial repercussion on either side for any reason whatsoever after serving one month notice to the contractor. Now, railway shall also reserve the right to terminate the contract with immediate effect without any financial repercussion on either side in case of operational exigencies or in case where the asset for which the contract was awarded is not available for commercial exploitation due to some other developments or change in site. <laughs> My Lord, kindly mark this word, change in site or any other reason. Full EMD or SD and the lump sum freight rent license fee paid by the contractor shall be refunded to the contractor without any interest. So, my lord, they at least could have invoked this particular clause. They themselves could have invoked by terminating it and they could have granted me the security deposit. Because why I say? Because whatever grievances I have made before them, Lord Shiva will certainly see their report. Their report does not indicate anything. Their own department is saying that we will going to do the needful so that your problem can be addressed and we will get back to you after solving this issue. That letter is still there. And I have annexed that letter. But what they have done, they have terminated my lease agreement. And that too without issuing any prior notice. There is a violation of natural justice. There is no breach on my part. I have not committed any wrong. I was paying the lease freight as per the agreement. Now these are the breaches which they are part, my lord. And for that, my lord, <clears throat> and they have, what they have done in the termination letter, Kindly see at page 138 once more. Yes, my lord, the lordship has already seen that. For my satisfaction, may I read once? You will lease 24 ton space by LVBS at such and such weekly on round trip basis for a period of 26 12 2022 as per round trip freight on such and such for one day in a week on Friday. You have certainly discontinued the leasing operation from 26-5-2023 as well as lump sum lease freight and also not being deposited. <clears throat> this continuation of your contract is now treated as a breach of agreement under para 19 of FMC wherein it illustrated as such and such. Now, my Lord, they have said it so. Now, what is clause 19.1? 19.1 is something different. I have stated here, my Lord, kindly see page 19. It has been elaborately described. What is 19.1? At page 90. Page 90. May I read from the middle portion, my lord? Page 90. Yes. If the contractor for the contracts of leasing of parcel spills fails to pay the lump sum freight for three continuous days, he will not be permitted to load in the parcel space till all the pending dues are cleared. My Lord, it indicates that I have used the parcel spaces, but I have not paid the lease freights. So in that case, for non-payment of dues, they can certainly terminate me. But here, I have discontinued the operation and such statement will appear from, Lordship, uh, from the railway's own letter which I have annexed at page 122A. So she kindly come to page 122A. They have made contradictory statements.
Yes. My Lord, kindly come to the last paragraph, Lord Shiva. I will not bother with the entire paragraphs. In view of the above, it is one second requested to continue your leasing contract. Lord Shiva, kindly see. Because there is no such ground to discontinue the lease contract when the guaranteed supply of lease when is ensured. So I have discontinued. It is not the case that I have used it, but I have failed to pay the money. It is Railway's own letter. That's not in dispute also. That's not in the dispute. But the clause which they have applied, that is not at all applicable in my case. The clause is very clear on its face that have I operated those parcel spaces for three days without paying the advance freight charges, they could certainly terminate me if I not cleared the outstanding dues. But here they say that I have discontinued and I also say I have suspended the operation because of these issues. So there is no breach on my part. I have only sought their assistance. Now, if they say that we are not in a position to give, render you necessary assistance, then certainly they could have invoked clause 17.2 and they could have terminated the contract and returned the security deposit back to me. Instead of what they did, they terminated it without giving me any notice and tried to forfeit the security deposits. Now, Loshu, I am armed with some authorities. Loshu is well aware of those that at least in the in the contractual field, my lord, under Article 298 of the Indian Constitution Act, the state has a liberty to enter contract and they have to act fairly and justly. They have to take me into confidence. <laughs> my lord, kindly. This is 1990, Volume 3, Supreme Court Cases, 750. 1990. 1990, Volume 3, Supreme Court Cases. copy <laughs> The relevant paragraph? Yes. Yes, paragraph 18. <laughs> My Lord, kindly see paragraph 18 onwards. Having considered the facts and circumstances of the Pata 763. Over 99. 18. Having considered the facts and circumstances of the case and the nature of contention. Consider the facts and circumstances of the case and the nature of the contention and the dealing between the parties and in view of the present state of law, we are of the opinion that decision of the state public authority under Article 298 of the Constitution is an administrative decision and can be impeached on the ground that the decision is arbitrary or violative of Article 14 of the Constitution of India on any of the grounds available in public law field. It appears to us that in the respect of the corporation like IOC, when without informing the parties, concerned as in the case of the appellant firm hearing on alleged change of policy and on that basis action to seek to bring to an end to course of transaction over 18 years involving large amounts of money is not fair action, especially in view of the monopolistic nature of the power of the respondents in this field. Therefore, it is necessary to reiterate that even in the field of public law, the relevant persons concerned or to be affected should be taken into confidence. I was not taken into confidence. Whether and in what circumstances that confidence should be taken into consideration cannot be laid down on any straight jacket basis. It depends on the nature of the right involved and the nature of the power sought to be exercised in a particular situation. It is true that there is discrimination between the power and the right, but whether the state or the instrumentality of a state has a right to function in public field or a private field is a matter which, in our opinion, depends upon the facts and circumstances of the situation. But such exercise of power cannot be dealt with by the state or the instrumentality of the state without informing and taking into confidence the party whose rights and power are affected or sought to be affected into confidence. In such situation, most often people feel aggrieved by exclusion of knowledge, if not taken into confidence. Such transaction 
should continue as an administrative decision with the organ of the state. It may be contractual or statutory, but in situation of transaction between the parties for nearly two decades, such procedure should be followed, which will be reasonable, fair, and just. That is the process which formal, normally be accepted to be followed by an organ of the state, and that process must be conscious, and all those affected should be taken into confidence. My Lord, having regard to the nature of the transaction, we are of the opinion that it would be appropriate to state that in cases where the instrumentality of the state enters in the contractual field, it should govern by the incidence of the contract. It is true that it may not be necessary to give reasons, but in our opinion, in the field of this nature, fairness must be there to the parties concerned. And having regard to the large number or the long period and the nature of the dealings between the parties, the appellant should have been taken into confidence. Equality and fairness at least demand this much from the instrumentality of the state, dealing with the right of the state not to treat the contract as subsisting. We must, however, evolve such process which will work. Well, thereafter, the Honorable Apex Court has directed to take a fresh decision, at least by giving an opportunity to place my grievances. This is the sum and substance of this judgment. My Lord, my respectful submission is this, that this, as a, rules are specific, change of station needs my willingness, that was not obtained. Now, termination letter, apparently there is no breach on my part. It, I have suspended for a valid and reasonable re ground. So that was also, also terminated without giving me an opportunity of hearing my Lord. So my respectful submission when the termination letter is bad and should be set aside, Either they allow me to operate by addressing the grievances, and if they cannot address my grievances, in that case, my security deposit lying with them should be refunded back to me. Now, on the previous occasion, my learned friend has said that the repetition is not maintainable. He has stated that in contractual field, probably my learned friend wants to highlight some judgments. I have the latest judgments with me after 2021. <laughs> Yes. This is 2021 SCC online 1999. Justice Chandra should let his judgment, my lord. Paragraph 42. No. Paragraph 39. It has settled this issue once for all. My lord has found. A two-judge bench of this court in ABL International Limited has celebrated judgment export credit guarantee, analyzed a long line of precedent of this court to conclude that REITs under Article 26, 226 are maintainable for asserting contractual rights against the state or its instrumentalities as defined under Article 12 of the Indian Constitution. And speaking through Justice N. Santosh Shegri, the court held the following legal principles emerge as to the maintainability of the REIT petition. In an appropriate case, a writ petition as against the state or an instrumentality of a state arising out of a contractual obligation is maintainable. <clears throat> Merely because some disputed questions of fact arise for consideration, same cannot be a ground to refuse to entertain a writ petition in all cases as a matter of rule. A writ petition involving a consequential relief of monetary claim is also maintainable. So, my lord, I am seeking refund of my security deposit in the event they could not at least resolve my issue. So that is also maintainable. And thereafter, my Lord, it has it has clarified at, from um, uh, paragraph 40 that this exposition has been followed by this court and has been adopted by three judge bench decision of this court in state of UP versus Shudir Kumar and Propato uh, such and such. My Lord, the decision of ABL International cautions that the plenary power under Article 226 must be used with circumspection when other remedies have been provided by the contract. But as a statement of principle, the jurisdiction under Article 226 is not excluded in contractual matters as Article 23.1 of the development agreement in the present case mandates the parties to resolve their disputes through arbitration. However, the presence of an arbitration clause within a contract between the state instrumentality and a private party has not acted as an absolute bar to availing remedies under Article 226 if the state instrumentality violates its constitutional mandate under Article 12 to act fairly and reasonably, as has been done here, relief under the plenary power of Article 226 of the Constitution would lie. The, this principle was recognized. This is how it goes. 
it has been elaborately detailed that however while entertaining an objection as to the maintainability of writ petition under article 226 of the constitution of india the court should bear in mind the fact that the power to issue prerogative writs under article 226 of the constitution is plenary in nature and is not limited by any other provisions of the constitution the high court having regard to the facts of the case has discretion to entertain or not to entertain a writ petition the court has imposed upon itself certain restrictions in this exercise of power and this plenary right of the high court to issue a prerogative writ will not normally be exercised by the court to the exclusion of other available remedies unless such action of the state or its instrumentality is arbitrary unreasonable so as to violate the constitutional mandate of Article 14 or for other valid and legitimate reasons for which the court thinks it is necessary to exercise the jurisdiction. But I have demonstrated that, my lord. There is a violation of Article 14. There is a violation of principle of natural justice. Now, paragraph 41 says, Therefore, while exercising its jurisdiction under Article 226, the court is entitled to inquire into whether the action of the state or its instrumentalities is arbitrary or unfair and in consequence in violation of Article 14. The jurisdiction under Article 226 is a valuable constitutional safeguard against an arbitrary exercise of state power or a misuse of authority. In determining as to whether the jurisdiction should be exercised in contractual dispute, the court must undoubtedly issue the disputed question of fact, which would depend upon an evidentiary determination requiring trial. But equally, it is well settled that jurisdiction under Article 226 cannot be ousted only on the basis that the dispute pertains to the contractual arena. This is for the simple reason that the state and its instrumentalities are not exempt from the duty to act fairly merely because in their business dealings they have entered into a realm of contract. Similarly, the presence of an arbitration clause does not oust the jurisdiction under Article 226 in all cases, though it still needs to be decided from case to case as to whether the recourse to a public law remedy can justifiably invoke. The jurisdiction under Article 26 was rightly invoked by the single judge and the division bench of the Andhra Pradesh and in this case, when the foundation of the representation of the contract has failed. So, well, this is my situation, my position, my lord. And the same thing has been reiterated by another honorable apex court judgment. Yes. 2021, volume 6. Supreme... Sir, you take some more. You, you'll take some more time. No, I will not take. I will only highlight two, three judgments because point of maintainability was taken on the earlier occasion. So I have a responsibility, my lord, to discharge that thing. And also, uh, same thing has been reiterated in another judgment, my lord. I'm highlighting this one. Yes. Paragraph 67, my lord. Recent Supreme Court. Paragraph, paragraph 67. Hey, rich, rich. You know. Paragraph Sixty seven, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight. Well, sixty seven, sixty eight, same thing has been reiterated here. So, these are my respectful submissions. Well, that's why I got to do time. You read. Yes, Mr. Trivedi. Yes. Yes, Mr. Trivedi. Has he completed? Yes, I have completed. But I have a right of reply. Whatever. Uh, I, 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 will you, will you uh, make your submission on the next? Because several other matters are waiting. But I have no issues, Mr. I, 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 I may because certain judgments. Otherwise, factually, I was ready. But since judgments have been cited today, I need to deal with them. If my lord so deems fit and proper, I'll hear your submission on the next day. I thought, my lord, I will have to at least demolish him today <laughs> because he was also saying that I was ready. <laughs> he says he's ready, but then several other matters are waiting. But the entry order is expiring on. It will be extended for extended for limited period. period. My lord will kindly extend it till that date when the matter is returned. End of the month. End of the month. End of the month. Of the Any day, first week Malod, of March, Lord Shiva. My Lord, we will kindly. My Lord, uh, my Lord, since the, the order uh, which has fallen from my Lord is only restricted to the security, my Lord, my Lord may we issue a uh, fresh tender, my Lord, because those parcel vans for the last so many months are lying, and we are recurring. Set aside? Yes. My period is still there. Well, therefore, Milord, what I'm humbly submitting is that Milord will kindly grant a limited period till the date where, when argument is again to be. 
an order needs to be passed. So it, let it be till the end of that month. End of month. I'm ready. Uh, let them uh, same heading. Thirteenth March. Marham, the interim order granted earlier is extended till thirty first March or until further orders come whichever is early. And Albert Mallard is making a returnable on which day? Thirteenth March. Thirteenth March. Last week for you. I'm grateful. Seven fifty four and fifty five, same resolution. But my lord, uh, only thing is my lord, uh, in two matters, one person uh, affirm to report. But I have challenged no. page seventy, my lord. Yeah. Your application for permit was uh, turned down. Yes, well, page 70 is, is the resolution know? taken by the RTA. Oh, North 24 But I have challenged on the ground that the selection process is not fair, free, and 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 my lord uh, in accordance with law, my lord. But apart from that, in his uh, reply to the report of Mr. Saint, I'm for the private respondent. He has raised certain allegations against my client. Yeah, he has also it. indicated incorporated certain document. I want to deal with the document by filing a short affidavit. Huh? Because unless I fi file the affidavit, it will not be recorded. You that's, cannot. You cannot rather. Yes. That's the whole trouble. Let him come back with a short affidavit. Yes. Effort. yes. But exception, report, exception. Everything is ready. That's Everything is ready. That is all Everything is ready except my affidavit. affidavit from the private yes. respondents. Uh, Learned counsel for the... You are appearing for all the private respondents? Yes, my right. Learned counsel for the private yeah, respondents okay. seeks to use an affidavit in this matter. Paragraph affidavit in opposition be filed within two weeks. Yes. Two weeks mm -hmm. From date, stop. Reply if any comma be filed within a week thereafter. Yes. No, no. Advanced copy maybe some. Yes, advanced copy. Yes, of course. Yes. This 22nd March. 22nd March. Let the matter appear under the same heading. 22nd March. Difficult. No, not difficult. Very well. Because 21st is Thursday. So 22nd. And thereafter, holidays are there. Yes, yes. 7th, you can come. No, no. 27th is not good day. Not 20, good day. 22nd, 22nd is all. 22nd is all right. Liberty is given only to the private respondent. Only to the private respondent. Since you have submitted your report. I don't think further affidavits are required. No, no. <laughs> Because he needs to explain his stand, I think. Yes, yes, yes. For a similar matter. Same, 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 same. same. I, I appeared in the first matter. Same order in 755 also. Yes, 756. State. Mr. Mitra is appearing for the state, my lord. Yes. My lord, in this matter, my lord, there has been an illegal collusion between the private respondent and the official respondents, my lord. For the, you are the petitioner? Yes. A timetable, a provisional timetable was passed behind the back of the petitioner. Where is the state? Well, I am for appearing for the state led by Mr. Shantar Kumar. My lord, private respondent. A provisional timetable was passed during the puja vacation and the officer was going to remit office. He, he passed the timetable before the 30 days could be expired for filing of objection, my lord. And now, my lord, the unfortunately, the timetable has expired, but he's still plying the vehicle, my lord. He has come to this court with unclean hands, my lord, and obtained one order from your lordship, my lord. There will be a conflict of judgment, my lord. Kindly, they have called for a hearing in this matter. When is the other matter appearing? That matter has been disposed of. 
by giving an opportunity of hearing to all the parties. And they have called for a hearing on the 16th mile lot that may be stayed now. And yes. kindly call for a report. You are also called for the hearing on that. Yes, day. but my lord, this matter is much serious, my lord. He is flying without any timetable, my lord. This matter is not serious. Let the both the matters be, my lord, heard together before the RTA then. And my lord, kindly uh, first ascertain whether the vehicle is flying or not without any timetable. The vehicle is flying for the last two months. Admittedly, the timetable has expired. He came before your lordship and obtained an order for the renewal of the timetable, provisional timetable. And he's still flying the vehicle, my lord. Kindly call for a report from the MBI or the police, my lord. In the other matter? In this matter, my lord. Yes, in the other matter, he filed after me. This matter was other posted. Matter disposed of. Disposed of, yes. Said. That has been disposed of and letter has been issued calling for a hearing on the 16th. What is this matter about? Sir? This matter is, my lord, I challenge, my lord, the, the timetable issued by the RTA. Timetable is the last annexure, my lord. Page 45, my lord, can you see? The last page. <laughs> Provisional timetable, my lord, issued for 30 days. Only claim and objection, if any, within the. We heard after 30 days, and accordingly, the timetable be issued. And my lord, kindly see page 44. Issued on 11th, uh, page 44. 11th of October. Yes, before 30 days could be over, my lord. This was issued through the back door. On the 3rd of September, Is this it notice was. Optional timetable? Yes. It has not been finalized. But my lord, there was a direction of the honorable division bench that the provisional timetable should be given class free and I should be informed I was a party before the division bench. That order, my lord, I am placing. I was not, not given any notice and the timetable was passed ex party behind my back. It's on page 43. Page 42, my lord, firstly. Comes to page 42, my lord. You have challenged page 44 in the repetition. Yes. <laughs> but in the interregnum, the timetable expired, my lord. This was when the timetable was valid. I challenged the timetable. Illegal issuance of the provisional timetable. Now it has expired. It has expired and now a fresh hearing has been called for renewal. But my lord, my grievance is the vehicle is still flying. That's subject matter of the repetition. This repetition. No, no. This timetable no. was... A... So this has become redundant. Yes, but my lord, the, the grievance remains, my lord. He's flying the vehicle, my lord, without any timetable, my lord. Grievance in the repetition, in this repetition. Kindly take the prayer. You've challenged the provisional timetable in this repetition. Yes. So that has expired already. Yes. Beyond the scope of the repetition, right? Then Kylie direct my lord that they should issue a class free timetable. That was the spirit of the order of the division bench. Your lordship has directed my lord to renew the renew to renew the provisional timetable. That is in direct class with the honorable have, division have bench. I order. So in this repetition. In that repetition. Please confine your argument to the present repetition. Yes. Not to any other repetition. Yes. You are talking about a division bench. You are talking about an earlier repetition which is disposed of. Please don't do that. Yes. In this repetition, your prayer was for uh, you have challenged the provisional timetable, right? Yes. So it no longer exists now. The second prayer, prayer B. Yes. What is your prayer uh, B? To is, uh, further read of mandamus to uh, further read of mandamus to issue commanding the respondents to invite objections from the existing permit holders over the route from such and such by circulating a copy of the revised timetable of the private respondent. Now, my lord, admittedly, he has submitted one fresh timetable that has not been circulated. Let that be circulated. Where is that in this repetition? The fresh timetable. After the filing of this uh, repetition, he has filed a fresh timetable for renewal. Brought that on record? No, no, because this was filed before that. Sir, this was filed before that. How can that be on record? So, a supplemented affidavit is not permitted in a repetition. Then, uh, kindly grant me leave. I'll bring that on record. Your repetition has become redundant. I will file a supplementary affidavit. You have fresh to, cause of action. Fresh cause of action. You have to fresh come back. Repetition. Let this be disposed of. File a fresh repetition or attend the hearing before the authority. That I only grant me liberty to file a supplementary if it see the nature of injustice. The writ petition is pending. The timetable has been issued. He is plying the vehicle without permit, and I will not get any relief, my lord. A specific cha challenge in the I writ petition was pending. I mentioned the matter several times before your lordship. Matter was listed. So this is not a public interest litigation, right? This is a specific. But my challenge. right is being affected. I am. I am an operator, interested operator. Somebody is flying a vehicle without permit, without timetable, my lord. How is this? You appeal before the authority and place your case. Yes, that, that liberty may be granted. That liberty cannot be granted in this repetition. Then how can I appear? 
because you have been served with a notice you said just now yes in connection with the earlier writ petition yes but in that writ petition my lord many things were suppressed the division bench order was suppressed that is not the you have the opportunity to appear before the authority ah. but your lordship has directed the authority to renew this provisional timetable which i am challenging so you can prefer an appeal against that order i am not ever say i do not know all the orders that have passed throughout the day Yes, isn't it? So I do not know what order has been passed. But I am bringing it to your lots of judicial notice. Let me file a you supplementary. Mentioning one repetition and yes. speaking about another repetition, which is not permissible. No, no. If he is flying the vehicle without any timetable, that is a cause of action. This repetition, sir. Only this, this repetition, my lord. My grievance was that a timetable has been issued illegally through the back door, and after even after expiry, the vehicle is being flied in violation of section sixty six. <laughs> Let me file a supplementary affidavit and bring it on record. Section. Kabe? What will you bring on record? Is it connected to this? Yes, no, but he's it's flying. It's a fresh the, have... which has been issued. Yes, Mulla, it has so it has become infractuous. New cause of action arose. Timetable has not been issued, my lord. Hearing has been called. Hmm? So the timetable has not yet been issued. No, no. Attend the hearing and place all your documents before the authority. And my lord, yes. be, this repetition may also be placed because the, both are my lord connected. This repetition has become redundant. But the grievance remains, my lord. My grievance, grievance remains. Is not with regard to this timetable which has expired. And my lord, the vehicle is being plied without permit. That is my main grievance. Is that your prayer in the please? You are wasting the time of the court, sir. I must say. Then my lord, kindly dispose it upon merit, my lord. I will go on in. On merit, there yes. is nothing to dispose of on merit in this repetition. I am not withdrawing. You are to pass any order. <laughs> Appear before the authority. Place all the documents. The judgments that you are referring to before the authority, so that they come to know. That is what I am seeking. I am seeking liberty for that only. How can I grant? There is a disagreement order in this matter. There are there have been several litigations. How can I grant liberty in this matter? My lord, there have been several litigations in respect of this permit and the timetable has not been renewed till date. Division bench has passed an order. Single bench, three single benches have passed. But again, order. also several repetitions which I have no knowledge about. That he has suppressed, not not produced before. Or I have suppressed. I have I have produced everything. All the orders are here, my. All the orders are here. He is not coming with clean hands. The petitioner has challenged the timetable issued by the regional by the Secretary Regional Transport Authority, Purbo Bordhaman, on 11th October 2023, for a period of 30 days. Stop. The timetable has. Expired in the meantime. <laughs> the repetition having become redundant. Uh, uh, therefore, nothing further remains to be adjudicated in this repetition, <laughs> which has become redundant upon expiry of the provisional timetable. Which was under challenge hearing. <coughs> Accordingly, WPA section is such uh, such is disposed of. Urgent certified website copy. Post post kichu wale kaise? Next. No, I am for the fifty seven one. Uh, so Debra, uh, the direction for our filing, my lord, the report, report, my lord, the. Have you served? No, that was not served. I'm just now. Then, my lord, the except, my lord, can't leave to my lord file, my lord, exception if required, my lord, that. My lord. Is there a further vacancy in the route? No, no, no.
इन फ्यूचर इन फ्यूचर एनी वैकेंसी ऑकर इंक्लूडिंग सब्जेक्ट रूट हुई थी पीड़िता ने इंटेंड टू अप्लाई फॉर इन फ्यूचर सेम कोर्नली है कोई डेल टाइप पर जेक्शन the petitioner has referred to a subsequent notification dated Balardi. March thirty one twenty seventeen. Fine, but the Balardi. notification is not annexed. March thirty one. Yes, twenty seventeen. I will bring lots of guys fixed another time. He also tried to make a file say exception. He said. You want to find an exception? Yes, yes, Malar. Because the authority says they still no vacancy. Yes, Malar. The uh, my specific instruction is Malar. After the Malar uh, consideration, my application Malar there were vacancy and Malar some some ones were considered. Malar the by my uh, my application was not considered. It was my specific Malar the. Can you submit documents? Malar the uh, I shall try Malar the. How can you submit documents? कल घी वाला दी वन डे वाला दाई सल रिपोर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एफिडेविट सबमिटेड ऑन बियर ऑफ द रेस्पोंडेंस इस टेकन ऑन रिपोर्ट पैराग्राफ ऑन टेर ऑफ द पिटिशनल लिगेटी इस ग्रांटेड टू यूज एन एक्सेप्शन टू द रिपोर्ट और मैं इस रिक्वायर्ड पैराग्राफ फ्रेंड्स बात करेंगे आप इस एक ऑन Next. Well, seven fifty time for the petitioner, challenging the additional tax imposed against my uh, client. But the report has been submitted. I file an exception. Okay, copy this. Fine. But uh, only. But. Uh, Just now, I, I, lots of time I have received no, a copy. No, on, uh, on, and, 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 and the report, totally wrong report. But the, on the basis of I, the I, another vehicle, well, my landed friend clients I, has been submitted. I, I, I have to take instruction on this. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, kindly, I, 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 she. Is it copy today? Just, just, just. Well, if your lordship kindly, kindly come to the report submitted by my landed friend, that is WP one five four eight one three, well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is the tax imposed against my client. Well, that is WB one five C four eight one three. But it is a taxi. Or uh, uh, my landed friend submitted a report by the another car. I also kindly allow me to for a big uh, to take instruction here on this point. Registration number WB one five four eight one three. Well, that is the sub submitted by my landed friend. But original number which is WB one five C four eight one three. Well, do I I I. I कपिटी That copy has been served. That has been indicated in that. That is submitted on behalf of the petitioner. The report submitted on behalf of the respondents is taken on record. Copy of the reply is served. Is made over to learned counsel for the respondents in court this day. Paragraph on prayer of the respondents. The matter is adjourned. Paragraph that the matter appeared under the same heading on. 18th March. 18th March. Gratefully. Next. Would we take an exception for the time? I am for the petition. All right. I am. I am for the private respondent, my lord. My lord, Mr. Devrai has filed one report. My lord, I have received it on on Friday only. My lord, I I am praying one week time to uh, file my exception. Report has not been filed as yet. I have been served, my lord. I have also been served. An exception, my lord. Mr. Shahar has received all the copy. Yes, yes, yes. I have received all the copy. Coming now. Yes, 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 my lord. You want to use an exception? Yes, my lord. 
I do not want because this is supporting my case, my Yes. Report is supporting my case. I don't want to file any exception. Report is in the form of affidavit submitted on behalf of the state respondents is taken on record. Learned counsel for the private respondent seeks to use an exception to the report. Paragraph, let the matter appear under the same heading on 19th March. 